We live. What's good, people? Welcome to Press Start Podcast, episode 19. We got a great show for you guys today. Um, as you guys already, some of you guys already know, I got a copyright strike on my channel. So Press Start Podcast will be on Jay Main's channel until March 26th. So yeah, so get used to um watching the podcast live here until then. So subscribe to my boy Jay Main. Um, his content is great anyway, so check him out. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get through these intros. So we're gonna start it off with Alex. Say what up. What's up, everybody? Uh, I'm Mono. It's Alex with two X's. Uh, if you want to know about the business side of video games, if you want to learn how to lift weights and get in shape, or if you want to learn about ADD and ADHD, you can follow me on my channel. Um, it's Oh no, it's Alex with two X's because I'm double the cool. <laughs> Check out Alex, man. Cool, dude. We got Gaming Addict. Say what up. What's up, you guys? I uh, appreciate you uh, inviting me on, uh, Kofi. No problem, man. Oh, that's it? You No plug, bro? <laughs> <laughs> All right, yo. We're going to keep it moving. Jay Main, say what up. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's uh, Jay Main back checking in with the podcast. Definitely appreciate uh, having some new faces around. Glad to be back on the show. Um, and let's talk games. And we got, you know, the spoiling God up in here. <laughs> <laughs> spoiling God. Jimmy, say what up, Jimmy. Hey, what up, man? It's the man, the myth, the legend, a.k.a. the BGST killer. Mr. Do It For The Culture. I'm in here. What's up? Salute. Yeah. <laughs> and we got Rambo up in here. Say what up, Rambo. Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, I'm I'm the man with the over 400 uh, PS4 games physically, and just gonna keep on collecting, man. Oh, that's big, man. And we got um, a late straggler, but I think he made it on time, yo. Um, Jay Barry, say what up. Yo, what's good, YouTube? What's up, PlayStation Nation? Ha. Hey, uh, man, I'm here. Okay. We're talk about some gaming. We're gonna have some fun. <laughs> Show it how it's done. Yo, like, yo, I have to, I have to give props to Jay Barry. Like, he, yo, honestly, he's like my go-to man. Like, when I need a late, you know, last-minute person, yo, like, hit up Jay Barry one time. This guy's always down. So, yo, much hey, yo, respect, yeah, yo, yeah, much yeah, respect. Yeah, it's not even that. We just hit that dude up three minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> yo, real, real it's Barry, Barry, baby. Yo, so, yo, much respect, much love to Jay Barry for, you know, always jumping in when I need him the most, yo. You know, and apparently um, we're supposed to have Jack move in here. But he's getting his ass handed to him in Dark Souls <laughs> Three right now, or good, yeah. something like that. So, I think he he I might hop in late. So we're gonna allow him today. Out of complete curiosity, does anyone here think he's gonna beat that game? <coughs> Yo, Jack, I mean, if, 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 if you haven't beaten you know. Dark Souls by now, right, well, he just got it problem. today. No, nah, but he just no, nah, he just got it. So oh, he just got it. Yeah, yeah, he, he, could, he, you know, he could Dark do it. Souls before. I don't think he beat Bloodborne. He beat Bloodborne. Oh, yeah, okay. If he okay, possibly because a lot of Bloodborne isn't dark Souls, so that could be that he could probably get through it then yeah i, I think he could if he like stuck to a jack jack can play his game so you just gotta I, be a little more patient in in, in, in um dark souls man it's and, not as fast as blood yep. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's, it's more of like understanding pacing and so if you're very impatient it's gonna punish you very quickly so mm -hmm. uh, i'm ready for the dlc to be honest that looks fantastic it's like i said his rolling skills on that game is atrocious man <laughs> <laughs> his, I, I, you know what if he's ever played a souls game and he and, and he's wearing armor he is doing mm -hmm. it <laughs> yeah. all right so i would like to go around and see what everybody's playing we haven't done this in a while so game night again what are you currently playing right now i just beat zelda yesterday uh <laughs> i'm not gonna spoil it like other people in here would but uh <laughs> I'm Mr. Master Sully. Get out of here. <laughs> Look at that. We he was just agreeing that's not true. And now he's gonna backstab me because we hey, lied. Hey, 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 do it for the culture. Hey. <laughs> uh but uh I think I'm gonna start on I am set sooner here pretty soon. All right, dope. Alex, what are you playing right now? Uh you guys are gonna love this. Uh right now I am streaming Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. Mm, okay. on Friday and Saturday nights. Um, I'm also playing <laughs> Zelda Breath of the Wild, and I'm playing Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's oh, I, Cut. Oh, yeah, I finished that. That game, I right. it's, it's not really my cup of tea, but it, it's I. Right. It's <laughs> The thing is, if you've never played the original Deus Ex, it's honestly, there's so many throwbacks to that game. It's awesome. It's, it's, it's a really good fan service kind of game. 
Yeah. Um, and J Man, what are you playing right now, bro? Um, right now I'm juggling like seven games. It's like <laughs> I think it's just crazy right now. Right now, but I'm like two missions away from beating Horizon, well, and getting the platinum at the same time. So Jeez. I'm gonna finish that up, and then I gotta get back to Neo. Um, I gotta finish that up, and then I'm gonna probably go backwards from here. I'm not gonna pick yeah. up anything until I finish I, out this 2017 backlog. We just started. <laughs> this yeah, is yeah, I, I, I got game, I got games in in my backlog that come back to like 2016, 15. Hey, exactly. Yeah, I don't. I'm you playing know. Legacy of Kane. You got. There's no <laughs> way you can talk about backlog. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I feel you, cause I gotta, I gotta still hold the L. I'm still not done Gravity Rush two, man. Like I, oh man, you know what? Cause like games came out like right after each other, but I'm just glad that I got through Neo, Neo at least. You know, you know I beat Zelda Breath of the Wild, but right now I'm playing. Um, I'm just trying to go back, cause I'm kind of, you know, I have that open world fatigue, J Man. You know, I have that syndrome right now, bro. You gotta play near then, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm playing that. Yeah, I'm playing that right now too. So, you know, I just came, I just went back. Um played some some of these games that i'm almost done you know and just completing them up now i'm just gonna backtrack a little bit go finish up gravity rush you know finish up yakuza zero and all of that stuff because i don't think i'm picking up a game until maybe mario kart you know what i'm saying yep. i don't think i don't even think i'm picking up a game until then so i'm straight <laughs> look at kofi acting like he ain't picking up a game for a while mario kart comes at the end of next month <laughs> yeah, let me, yeah. Let me so, um for those of y'all that do want to switch gamestop is supposed to have them back in stock uh on wednesday yeah okay D- definitely okay. just don't d- don't be a poser like anchorman and put up your put up your uh your, your tag and they'd be like oh i don't have a switch i just wanted to get this done <laughs> all right yo oh, you know I'll move what up that- Yo, um, Jack moved. Johnny's in here. I guess he got tired of getting bodied in Dark Souls. So, Jack, let's say what up. Commission out of commission. How y'all doing? Bro? I, bro. Oh, why y'all stream so early, man? <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> it's an hour after. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's 7 o'clock here, though, Jack. What yeah. Huh? Yo, yo. No, I thought y'all were streaming at 7 o'clock my time, though. I know. Wait, I realize. No, he even said though. Eastern in the in the chat and Twitter, bro. Like, like what time he say? <laughs> Eastern, seven o'clock Eastern. Yo, yo, Jack. You know you could avoid all these problems if you just check your inbox, bro. Hey, man. Listen, I thought I thought we usually go live at yeah, eight. 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 Yeah, yeah. Eight that, that's you why know, I was streaming and shit. No, I could. We we ain't doing this on my channel until May, so we gotta start a little bit early because J Man gotta leave for work. You know? Oh, okay, bro. All right. Looking up Jack Doki. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. I started being a bloodborne boss, man. I'm in bloodborne. I'm playing Dark Souls three. I'm in that okay. bitch truck. Yeah, I'm be like, yo, Jack out here. He's Hollywood now. That 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 weapon wheel paycheck got him feeling nice out here. <laughs> yes. Hey man, listen, on them Colin Moriarty stacks. He's gonna start heartache and be like put some money in my paypal i'll join it <laughs> hey man i, I got i got side trick y'all gotta forgive me man it's all good man yo respect for joining um, the heartache wants to see the receipts that's the difference <laughs> yo so yo jay barry what are you playing right now uh i'm playing a few games man i'm playing this fighter uh playstation 4 called chaos code uh came out this week it's pretty dope um pretty old school anime type fighter also you know playing street fighter got prepared for this tournament that's coming later this month um okay. playing near automata mm-hmm. uh, which is really good i just beat tales of bristeria beat horizon so right. that means i can go back to the backlog of gravity rush and yakuza so i'm gonna get through those right. and yeah man you know i gotta get my vr fixed man yes kofi we still out here but <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta get it fixed what happened <laughs> oh nah man like i like i like ran out of games to play oh shit. Really? Nah. <laughs> Yo, on my ps4 listen there's there's a abundance of games on this year for it, man. You know, my man shots my man Rambo, he said over four hundred physical. I'm in the same ballpark digital, man. Damn. Oh be out here. Wait, Rambo, you got four hundred physical games? I got four hundred physical and three hundred and twenty five digital. Gee. Damn. Holy shit. Well, I'm playing Zelda too. I'm still I'm still chopping through that, but I'm not really like focused on that. But I need to get focused. I need to have like a Zelda day. That's the yeah. Thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Speak for yourself, week, man. True. I couldn't stop playing that game. I tried. Yeah, me too. too. Me too. Yo, everything I have to put it. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna talk about that. Yo, but Jimmy, yo, what are you running right now? Oh yeah, right now I'm actually trying to get the uh, Zelda in my life. Um, right now I'm playing that. I'm trying to finish Neo Automata. Uh, just be Horizon. And um, what's the other one? I'm trying to finish Dishonored two real quick. 
And uh, one more. What's the other one? The other one I'm playing is um, damn, I forgot. Yeah, that's good enough. That's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> and yo, Rambo, what are you playing with, with them four hundred games right now? What are you playing currently? Well, I just finished uh, Horizon. Just played Horizon not too long ago, and started back on like uh, Neo and uh, Sniper Elite Four. I was think I've been trying. I've been putting off Resident Evil Seven because I I waited until I got my PSVR because I want my very first playthrough to be in VR. Uh, so I'm gonna be streaming that one whenever that whenever I can get around to it. But I'm I'm in the middle of actually wa- uh, raising my granddaughter, so she's like a month old right now. So it's kind of right a little bit harder wow. the day. Wow. So, wow. You got a grandkid? Yeah, man. That's wow. awesome. One month old. Wow. Yeah, congratulations, man. Grandpa Rambo. Rambo. Grandpa <laughs> Rambo, man. That's, that's I'm about to change my channel. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear right, so- about that uh, that lady who plays Skyrim? She's a grandmother. Oh yeah, I think I seen something like that. Yeah, I saw a video. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Yeah. All right, so l- let's get the podcast rolling. Um, the first topic I want to hit up on is iconic characters, icon iconic gaming characters, and you know what triggered this discussion was a poll. Kid Smooth, shout out to Kid Smooth, um, made the other day, and he made a poll saying, "Is Aloy an iconic character?" You know. And a lot of people, I was actually surprised. A lot of people voted yes, and a, a lot, a few people voted no, and um, a majority of the people voted not yet. You know, not yet. You know, it's too early. So I just wanted to get your guys' take. Do you think a character can become I- iconic status off one game? So no, 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 yes. no, no way. So yes. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a, think. Uh, Okay, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a actually, I'm a, you know, let everyone have their turn. So, gaming okay. addict, yeah, what do you think? I know that like a lot of you probably gonna disagree with this, but uh, I feel like Altair off the original Assassin's Creed had me going for a minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but when we when we talking about iconic status characters, we think when I think of iconic characters, I personally think of like yo know, someone like Sonic, someone like Mario. That's you oh, know role model. that's that's been in the been in the you know industry for years. So you know what I'm saying? No, I think and, it, it, it and they're well it. known and they're well known too among the masses. That's what I think of a you, you're talking about a character status. going mainstream. Okay. Before so, you well, before you come to me, I just want to, so I can clarify my thought on it real quick. When you say say about that, like are you talking about like a master chief too? Yeah, I think you could categorize Master Chief as iconic, but not like I wouldn't even not, say he's a big. Level of yeah, Mar- not to the, yeah, not to the level of Mario or Sonic. Definitely, he's not up there yet. You know, if I, if it was like a you know if we're using like the celebrity status, I would think Master Chief is definitely like B list. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh well, yeah, yeah. I can see that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can. So, all, when it comes to iconic, it's definitely. Uh, Nintendo got them all, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they, yeah, they got a lot because um they have a long history in the gaming world. You know what I'm saying? They have a long history, and that's the that's basically the only, the reason. So, Alex, what do you think? Do you think a character can can be iconic off one game? So, for me, if you're gonna say something like iconic, right, that means that that character represents everything about that company, that genre, or that brand. Mm-hmm. So when you look at something like iconic, when I say Nintendo, you say Mario. That's iconic. When I say cigarettes, you say the camel. You smoke <laughs> cigarettes. You remember that? Yeah. So like all that stuff, when you when you can associate that character to be part of that brand or something that much larger. So like when I say Sony, people are going to say Crash Bandicoot because that is the most iconic character for Sony, to yep. be honest. And Microsoft, you would say Master Chief and things like that. Off of one physical game only, although it did incredibly well with 2.6 million copies sold, um, I don't think she's iconic. I think she has the potential to be an iconic character, but Mm -hmm. it really depends how they treat the series, how they treat her, and how big she gets to be part of that brand for Sony. It's... Being off one game, no, that's ridiculous. Is she a good character? Possibly, sure. She has potential to be iconic, but I don't think off one game, no, not at all. 
Oh. All right, yo, that, that's definitely definitely a great answer. And Jesus Christ, bro, what's niggas up? What's niggas doing in the dislikes button, bro? That's the most dislikes <laughs> I've ever seen in my life, bro. I have no oh, idea. My, what's going on there. my bad. I <laughs> my bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry too. I, I clicked. Yeah, on my you got a lot of um. You got a lot of uh of uh BGST fans in your chat. That's why. I, I don't know oh, how. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at it. Yo, this is the most dislike press start podcast has ever yeah. got. Life, so you, don't, you don't see all them niggas, the Olo's accounts, they saying eat a dick, Jimmy. Yeah, I see oh, that. Man. That's why I modded you up there. What's yeah. the hell going on? No, I'm not gonna block them niggas. That's your fan base, but I'm, I'm just nah, that's I'm, not my fan base. No, 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 Yo, you got a lot of uh soccer account niggas in here though. I'm looking I at mean, like, none of between, between Jimmy and Jabari, man, you shouldn't have got them both. Maybe one <laughs> you would have you would have got away, but both of them. Hey, hey man, I'm low key, man. I went to rehab. I'm good now. Yeah, them niggas, them <laughs> niggas just like niggas that ride go karts. I see. <laughs> yeah, somebody said pulling up with the go kart. Don't <laughs> kill me. So, yo, so, so, soccer accounts is real. Yeah, yo, that's crazy. So that all that, that, all that, all that desire groupies in the chat though, for real, man. All that means is, yo, the people that watch and that rock with us, yo, don't let, let don't let them win, yo. Hit up the thumbs up for the on this video. So, nah, they gonna right. get some. Y'all gonna get some views off that. <laughs> keep keep hating, baby. Y'all watching? That's good. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, yo, a, negative, a negative view is still a view, brother. <laughs> so, J man, what do you what do you think about the topic? You know, like um, with Aloy being iconic. Yeah, you think she's uh, iconic already? Not, not after one game. Oh um, nah, I'll be yeah, honest I, with I you. Think, I'll be honest I, with you. She could, the game is, but the character now nah, because they gonna compare too much to Laura Croft. Of, like she got to be more original to be iconic to me. To be completely honest with you, after you explained what you meant by iconic, I think if something is truly iconic, like a lot of people should know it. Like if you show her picture to like anyone, especially in gaming, every hardcore pe person should know who she is. I yeah. guarantee you, there's some that don't. She's yeah, that's not what had I that. Who Laura that's Croft? No, no. Uh, the, Aloy. 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 Yeah, that's what I was getting at though. Like to be iconic. Iconic would be like somebody you can show to somebody who like doesn't really play games and they can like kind of identify with who that is or what brand they um you know kind of associate with. It don't matter if someone don't play right. games, if they just sit in their house all day and watch right. TV, you show them a picture of Mario. Oh, that's they Mario. Know. <laughs> no, no, exactly. With Aloy, like I think she has a, the potential of being a strong, you know, strong will character. She don't take shit from nobody. She she's nice with the bow, stuff like that. Like she definitely has to kind of there is yeah. gotta, until you uh, appear in a hill climb with, until uh, you appear in a super smash brothers you ain't shit <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> all right yo jack move what do you think you think aloy is uh, iconic no mckay army yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay yeah, okay yeah. oh i'm gonna say well it, to me it's like it depends on how literal you take the term right because like like y'all said certain characters you can show anybody in the world and they're like oh that's that that's that but a certain character like i think crash bandicoot's iconic but if you show mm -hmm. somebody that you know, don't play games them, but they be like, who the fuck is that orange nigga? You know what I mean? So like, <laughs> it just depends. Like I see, she's gonna be like, she gonna be iconic. You know what I'm saying? She's gonna be the next uh, face of PlayStation, in my opinion. So is she iconic yet? Eh, not really, but is she gonna be iconic? I think she is. Yeah. Didn't this also happen too with Watch Dogs when Ubisoft was trying to sell you their iconic cap? For the first one. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, it's not iconic if it's a hat and a symbol nobody can fucking see. Ubisoft. Mm. So I it's actually, like you, know, you can't you can't just throw the word around iconic and think it's going to catch that weight. It has to be garnered through the community and be shown as something like, like Jack said, it has to be something where you can just show someone and they'd be like, oh, like Jimmy said, that's that's Lara Croft. You know it's Lara Croft because you can just you see it. Mm -hmm. I actually like the character. So yo, J Bar, you agree? Uh, basically Kobe, saying or you have a different you opinion know, you know when you um sent that invite uh you know <laughs> a difference of opinion <laughs> uh, i think that the fact that we are even having this conversation means that she's iconic uh, uh, okay yeah. okay uh, I think, I think, I think yeah. that's reaching a little bit javar how, how step on, how step on. <laughs> you know, like uh I, I don't I to answer the other question you asked, can it can a first game it doesn't take one game to make somebody iconic? I think it does, yes. Because if you look back, Marcus Phoenix, Master Chief, I do think Master Chief is iconic because when you think of Xbox, that's who you're thinking about. And mm -hmm. those started from one game. You know what I mean? It's not like, oh, we start like Master Chief now. 
the the fourth I, day. I, I definitely, I definitely feel, but I feel like th those are very few in, in between. You know, like the type of level that like one Halo dropped, the type of impact that that had on the industry was like huge. You know what I'm saying? Like that was like a a big moment for gaming. Like, you know what I'm saying? The impact, the impact Horizon had has now is huge as well. That's two point six in two weeks. You yeah, know, I, I, I don't think I don't think you could compare though. I don't even think you could. Compare, Halo. <laughs> yeah, you can't you can't compare sales. You can't compare. To something not, not even the sales, but like just the situation. How like what Halo, what Halo Combat Evolved did for like Xbox, you know, what and I'm online saying? gaming. Well, nah, you know what I'm saying? Talking about you talking about. I'm talking about in this in this time period of how we see these characters and these, these games. Mass I do think Aloy is very iconic because even when you look at PlayStation, every event that you go to, every event that PlayStation has. Aloy is plastered everywhere on this damn place. Of course, they, they try to, they're trying to sell the game. <laughs> they already, cre they already, right, right, that, right. They already created that, 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 that character to be iconic. She's a likable character that people have critically and through the gamers. And I mean, she's, she's already has the mold to be that iconic character. She's already the front facing female right now for PlayStation. And I do think, you know, I think this game is going to have a huge impact because as more people get to play, people's going to start liking. And when that second game hits, boom, it's a wrap. I don't think that right. she's going to get that big. I'm sorry, but <laughs> I, I, I think, think she do. I, I think she's going to be a really good character for the PlayStation brand, but I don't think she's going to like five years down the road. She's going to be like a Kratos to me when it comes to PlayStation. All right, yeah, we got a, a late stroller. You know, I guess you know celebrities. Come oh, fast so late. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? He apparently ain't writing checks today. <laughs> I think I think celebrities come, you know, fashionably late. So we got Mr. Weapon Wheel in here. Say what up, BG. Yo, what up, y'all? Oh shit, my, my boss in there, bro. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that payment kind of late, BG. I need to talk to you about look that. At, <laughs> look at look at Nathan Drake. You know what I mean? Nathan Drake is iconic now. You know, yeah, he's iconic, I'm definitely. Were you saying the same thing? That's what I'm saying. Like, yo, these nah. characters. No, nah, but Uncharted, what one that drop? Like, Uncharted. He, he never had that kind of buzz though about him. Like the character himself. You know what I'm saying? Like, he had no buzz around him like that until like the but, second one. Yeah, yeah when they won that game, he had a bigger buzz than Nathan Drake when Nathan Drake first. Uh, um, I, I, I would agree. I would agree with you that Aloy is definitely having a bigger um debut. I would definitely agree with you. Like when they won that game of the year for Uncharted two. And um, was that oh nine? That's when like I think Nathan Drake became like that yeah. iconic figure. Yeah, yeah. Well, Uncharted nah, Two I, became such a massive runaway success. I mean, you've got such yeah. a huge property that really did so well. But when you look at something like the just the actual word iconic, I mean, that's and the way it's defined. It Aloy has the potential. I see it in that series. I see it in the way Sony markets that that game and and what they did with that 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 series. But I. At the moment, I don't see her as iconic. I can see her becoming iconic and and showing something really great and having a lot of potential. If they make the second one as good or better than the first one, but I don't see her as iconic right now. I think to get to that iconic status, I think there has to be a point in the franchise where they have where it just blows up some kind of emotional tie, something where you can really relate to her as a person. Yeah. Yeah. All right, y'all. Just to catch up, BG, we're talking about um, iconic characters. Can a character become iconic from one game? Because, you know, people have been debating on Twitter that Aloy is an, an iconic character. You know, some people say it's not yet. It's way too soon. It's only after one game. You know what I'm saying? So, BG, what do you think? you think um, a character can be iconic um, after just one game? And you think Aloy is iconic already? Um, I might have to, like, you know, because I think we all have, like, a... Who are we talking to? Thought of uh, y'all can hear me? Yeah, we can. Oh, hear yeah, what's up, what's up? yeah, yeah. I, I, I might have to like look up the specific de definition of iconic because iconic in my mind is is a figure that anybody can identify. Mm -hmm. um, That's what I kind of like, think of it too. Yeah, so I don't think any PlayStation um you know mascot besides Crash ever really became I iconic. Um, but as far as like close to iconic, um. Yeah, you can become iconic after one game. In my in my opinion, I feel like Isaac Clark uh, from Dead Space. I feel like he became I iconic in a sense um, after one game, um, because people were able to relate to him that this was this was just a regular freaking guy going through a terrible story. I feel like um, the same thing with uh, Kratos. I think a lot of people related to him after one game too. Yeah, but as far as like being a household name, I don't think any. 
PlayStation game like since Crash pra- practically ever really did that exclusive wise. And I don't think they they need one. Like they've proven they don't need a mascot or like a household identifiable uh, character. They really don't need one. Yeah. All right. So, so I just, uh, right. Sorry, I just, I just, oh, yeah. I just found the <laughs> definition for icon. Okay. So it's a person or thing regarded as a representative symbol of something. So they have to represent a symbol of something. Okay. Mm-hmm. So when you look at it that way, then you could say Mario is iconic, right? You could say Sonic is iconic. Yeah, they're definitely like easily identifiable. Like people could just people just know them, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, let's get on to the next topic. Um, I hear this a lot. You know, Nintendo gets a pass. You know, Jack says it a lot. Facts. No. <laughs> <laughs> BG says it a lot, you know. Maybe even Jay Barry says it a lot, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I definitely <laughs> get to <laughs> So I first I want to see what the panel thinks of this. Um, Game and Attic, do you believe that Nintendo gets a pat a pass? Do the media just give Nintendo a pass. Do you believe that's true? I think. Okay, I I kind of think that. It doesn't that you know that I don't think the media intentionally gives Nintendo a pass. I think they kind of do it like you know subconsciously. I think you you can't take away you know the majority of these people who are reviewing games and uh, on this media they've been playing Zelda for 15 20 years. So, like, you know, when they play a game like let's say Horizon, yeah, you know, they're coming in there fresh, they don't really know this game like they would know something like Zelda. So, you know, one would think that they would be a lot more hard on games that they're more passionate about like Zelda, but it's usually the other way around. You tend to look over stuff when you have a huge passionate about it. And I I think it's more nostalgia over just giving a game a pass. Okay. All right, Alex, what do you think? Do you think um, the Nintendo pass is real? (sighs) The Nintendo pass. Um, So here's what I think. I don't think Nintendo themselves get a pass. I think a lot of their IPs might get more of a pass than Nintendo themselves. So when you look at something like Nintendo, uh, especially what happened to Jim Sterling, uh, he gave Zelda Breath of the Wild, I think, a seven. Mm -hmm. And everybody just started, like, shitting all over him and freaking out and basically just having massive attacks all over his uh, YouTube and Twitter. Um, So I think what happens is you have a lot of potential backlash from a lot of fans, especially, you know, older fans from... Uh, a lot of classic Nintendo franchises. So do I think Nintendo themselves get a pass? No, because people have been shitting all over the Switch constantly, even in like the mainstream Facts. media. Um, but I think what happens is that when certain games come out, I think it's really hard to debate because what you have is Nintendo is very good at making really good games, but they also are able to hit a nerve inside of you saying, this is fucking fun. Remember how much fun it used to be? It's also fun right now. Aren't you having a good time? So you kind of like get caught up in this whirlwind of, I wouldn't say nostalgia, but I would say more so in the sense of they know the right buttons to push to make you want to keep playing that game. And Zelda's a good example of that. They know those buttons to push that makes you overlook all the negative shit. Oh, we're going to get to the discussion in a bit. I just want to hear so what I everyone think. Thinks. So do they get a pass? I don't think Nintendo gets a pass. I think a lot of their IPs get a pass. Or, right, or you know, you know, it's more lenient towards them. More lenient. All right, Jamie, what do you what do you think about the Nintendo um, pass? I definitely probably am leaning towards what uh, Alex just said with a lot of their IP has this nostalgia factor to it. And I mean, nostalgia is fine, but a lot of times people look at some of the things that Nintendo mm-hmm. games do as they're them being the first time that that thing has ever been done. Can you and, hear me? Oh, yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, we okay, hear good. You. okay. And it, it definitely happened with Zelda. I mean, Zelda does a lot of cool shit all in one game, but a lot of it has been done in other games. So, and and then with that being said, a lot of people do look past certain things like performance with Zelda. I mean, if a game has performance issues, some people say it doesn't affect them, but me personally, it does. So I can't say Nintendo themselves gets a pass, but I do, like Alex said, think that. There are certain IP definitely gets a pass because people shit on Nintendo games too. Like we can't forget that if you go on Metacritic and look at some of that, <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's, it's bad. Like a lot of the yeah. Wii U shit is bad too, and it's gonna happen, you know, regardless. But okay, you know, it happens. All right, let's hear, let's hear, um, Jack move, man, because he's very vocal about you know the Nintendo pass. So, Jack, break it down for us. 
Um, it's pretty much a subconscious thing, like I said the other day, man. It's it's not intentional, but it, it is there. You know, Zelda and Horizon 2 games have been getting compared recently. Zelda does a lot of things other games do, and that's viewed as innovative. Horizon does a lot of things other games do, and it got points deducted for that. It's like Zelda runs sub 30 frames per second. It's a perfect 10 in most people's eyes. Horizon runs that are pretty much locked 30 frames per second. People got an issue with it not being 60. Like, <laughs> come on, man. You just got to look at shit, man. Come on, bro. The bias is completely real. It's there. Like I said, I don't think it's a purposeful thing, but it's definitely, it's definitely there, man. Okay, so you feel like the, when these Nintendo games get reviewed, they're on a different standard. Absolutely. Don't, like I said, like if a Nintendo game is like a 9 or a 10, it, I mean like a, a 8 or a 9, it's going to get a 10. Like It's just the way it is. Like They're going to give it extra points. Okay, so I might have to ask you, remember that tweet we seen, Jay Main, or that quote that someone wrote about, you know, the, the reviewer was actually thinking of Horizon while reviewing Zelda. So what's up with that? Then? Remember that? Do you remember that quote or tweet? Or I don't remember? think I do. Uh, okay, I, I'll pull it up. But until until then, until I find it, um, oh, Jay, are you done, Jack? Or? Well, one quick thing: a lot of people bring up, well, what about the games that got bashed on Metacritic or by the critics? Certain okay. games, I don't care how much you try to sugarcoat the shit. Certain games you just can't defend. So if Mario Party <laughs> Ten got a bad review, I'm not gonna say it ain't no bias. Still, you feel me? Like, come on, nah, Mario okay. Party Ten was trash. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure it was. I, I fuck with Mario Party though. Yeah, but haven't you know, noticed all of Nintendo's bad games get bad reviews though? But that game's got to be really, really bad to get a bad review. Like if it's uh, okay, like if that joint play up was there and getting a nine off the rack. Nah, uh, <laughs> nah, nah, you're, 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 I, nah, nah. Well, I, um, people are just like when Nintendo does something, it, it's people treat it like when. When you got that dumb child, that when they do something smart, they're like, you're like, oh you're no, damn. I can't believe this is the dumb child. People are extra impressed when Nintendo does something that's modern, right? Exactly. Like, that's exactly what like my, because because people like people kind of have like this low standard for Nintendo because they they've been so far behind the curve with like you know ev uh you know revolutionizing their game so my, microsoft could do put something in one of their games sony could put something in one of those one of their games that's expected of sony and yeah. microsoft so people don't look at it oh that's i can't believe microsoft and sony did this that's what they expect of microsoft and sony but when nintendo does the same shit in their game we in our mind nintendo is still like at, at last gen's um expectations so when they do it now we're like blown away like we never seen it there, there's there's rarely anything Nintendo usually puts in their game that we've never seen before. But when it's reviewed and people talk about it, you, you would think like nah, it's the first time put I'm, in the I'm, game. I'm, I'm gonna disagree with you because you haven't played Breath of the Wild yet. Breath of the Wild okay. open world does some shit that uh, I haven't I, seen before. That's been, never uh, been seen in the game before. I have I've not never, seen it. There, there, I've never seen some shit ever in my life before. That Breath of the Wild does some shit. Like, Real talk. Because you can like, climb anything. Like, in well, world. Nah, it's, nah, it's not nah, even nah. that. I think how what happens is how you interact with the world. Yeah, uh, Breath of the Wild. There's not. There, I haven't. I personally haven't played a game nothing like it. it like, there, was video, there was a video going around about how um how a guy was trying to solve a puzzle with an electric thing. I don't know if you guys seen that. And, and he just pulled dropped out everything. All, he, he dropped all his equipment that had used metal, right? And he connected it in a in a in a way. I, I mean, I, don't, I do have to kind of agree with both of you. I do feel hell? like that, that? Uh, <laughs> it's not necessarily uh, Zelda. <laughs> it's not necessarily Nintendo innovating anything. It's all the shits finally in Zelda. I feel like that's a lot of it. But I think one of the biggest reasons that people aren't really shitting on Zelda a whole lot is because they didn't innovate anything. They just really combined it certain elements of games and they did it well. There's not one aspect of this game that was done bad besides maybe the frame rates and the temple designs. Now, BG hasn't played it. Like if BG played the game, he would know exactly what I'm talking about. Like I, I've been procrastinating trying to make a video explaining, explaining all of this, why, you know, the world is so great it's like this the stuff you can do with the the time stop abilities just that alone is crazy mm -hmm. that you could you never seen other games 
I don't think it's even just that, but if you look at the open world itself. The open and, world, and the, it's interactions. Well, just the open world, it's it's so well designed because there's never a moment where you are not being led to something else. So you can play things like Skyrim, yeah. you can play things like Fallout. You can say, oh, I see this thing, I'll just go over there and it's just empty space in between. The difference is that when you're playing Zelda and you see something interesting, along the way there are little, almost like breadcrumb trails to lead you into other things to keep you playing and keep you seeing what's going on. The world is so incredibly well made and the cartography of the game where you have to go and pick your own points on the map and figure out like, oh, that looks cool, that looks cool, I'll go here, I'll go there. You don't do that in other open world games. What you have in other open world games is just a giant checklist. And you're like, here's the tower. Here's all the things I have to do now. This game is no longer fun. It's a chore. Yeah, you know what breaks all that. And And that's what's so great about it. Since we're on the topic of Zelda real quick, you know, um, we're kind of so sidetracked. But it's one thing I want to say about the game. Like, the game lets you play how you want to play. You know, you could sometimes give you an option to solve a puzzle one way. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could solve a puzzle, like, the way I guess you're supposed to. But you could actually use your own... um, your own mind and like create a different way to like solve the puzzle which is like it's so cool you know what i'm saying like a lot of games force you to play one way zelda doesn't force you to play one way that's why i really appreciate the game too you know because there there was actually times in the game where you know i solved a puzzle differently you know what i'm saying than probably how i was supposed to solve it you know what i'm saying where other games would lock you off you got to solve it this way to proceed you know what i'm saying zelda's not like that so kofi can yeah, I ask, can I ask you a question about, about this bias thing? Oh right, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, if, yeah. Uh, if Microsoft put out, I, I did not actually cancel Scalebound, okay. and uh, Horizon just came out. If Sony had Sony and Microsoft put out those two games right around the exact same time, even even Zelda didn't even come out, but the exact same time Zelda did come out. Both of them came out the exact same time. Both of them looked like the artwork in Zelda. Both of them ran. Like Zelda, the Zelda game where it drops at 20 <laughs> FPS. Okay. Would those two games, would Horizon and Scalebound, be listed as a 10 out of 10? Absolutely not. No. Oh, so basically, you're basically like if the game was titled um, Horizon. No. Yeah. Basically, basically, if that was if that game was on Sony's <laughs> platform titled okay. Horizon or or on Microsoft's platform titled. Okay, uh, he's pretty much saying Zelda. if you put three variables and you put them exactly the oh, same, okay. put them on every I console. See, I, I see what you're saying. Okay, look, you can't be, say that be, that would be a ten be, out of ten. To, to be honest, to be honest, yeah, maybe it doesn't get a, like a a little bit of boost or a one two score. That would be a bias. Being, a, being that would be a bias. Uh, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm gonna go one step further because I was talking to uh, Shokyo about this. He was saying that he thinks Zelda would get the same scores as getting if it was not a Zelda game. And yeah. I said if Zelda was Horizon Zero done and vice versa. It'll be completely opposite. Horizon will begin tens, and Zelda will begin sixes and seven. Because just like, just like, DG, just like I, I DG said, they expect more out of Sony and uh, Sony and Microsoft. Exactly, exactly. But, like, okay. would I come out and say okay. that, that this game's a ten out of ten? No, by Lo- any means. But Lo- it's a solid eight to nine out of ten, and there's that's fine. That's fine. Low, low key, low key, you may be right saying because obviously the title must have an impact. It's all about name know, recognition, man. The name recognition might have it. Like, I ain't gonna, gonna sit there and be like, it wouldn't because, yeah, the name recognition probably adds to the it goes back to that iconic status. Well, you know? exactly. Absolutely, you know absolutely. So, yeah. Yeah, so I, I think I'll agree is, with you guys with that. Yeah. That's Zelda the reason why games like game. that's the reason why like games like Star Fox could get could get shit on because they're not really an icon iconic status. And they're just a fun game. I will agree that there's only certain amount of games in the gaming industry that do this. Most of the time, mm-hmm. if it's you know a, a franchise that the the reviewer loves, they really pick it like like a pick, like you know all the the Halos, yeah, yeah. you know Uncharted. They they they'll literally find the sh- the shit that they don't like, and that's what they'll talk about. On Zelda, it is not like that at all. Yeah, <laughs> Yo, I, I'm trying to think to myself, like, what do I really don't like in Zelda Breath of the Wild? Like, I don't you know, like the, the temple designs. I not heard even the, a little bit. But, okay, you, you know, have so, to hate. You have to hate the weapon weapon, the weapon durability. The yeah. rain, yeah. I heard okay. rain all the or, time. Or we, what nah, I call nah, the nah, weapon nah. instability. Okay, I'm, so yo, know, so from the people who have played the game here, Alex, um, yep. J Main. Mm-hmm. Um, Game and Attic, you've probably you played it, right? You have yeah, it. I right? beat it. I beat right, it. So, so yeah, all right. Yeah. So let's hear. Since nobody's talking about the negative negatives of the game, so um, let's quickly talk about the negatives of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Like, what do you what do you guys see bad about the game? That you know, what do you guys see that's bad about the game? All right, you, you like, sure you want me to go in on? That? I know. Oh yeah, go, ahead, go, ahead. <laughs> yeah, go first, man. Actually, uh, yeah, all right. I have to honestly say that 
this is an amazing Zelda, and it's the best Zelda they've ever made. Damn it, but <laughs> no. Well, first no. off, okay, I had to say that so I could damage control this next part because I'm about to shit on this. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, know, you 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 need to watch yourself. Okay, I don't like the temple <laughs> designs. I don't like how every temple you go to, it's like the first time you've been to a temple. I don't like the fact that some uh, you know a lot of these shrines and stuff are pretty much. You know, they're like, oh, they're so innovative. They're so complicated. Yo, there's certain shrines in here yeah, that easy, you yeah. do one thing and you're out. And I have not came across too many complicated shrines. There was a shrine I came to that you literally couldn't do without going to another shrine. But that's completely besides the point. All right. So th I don't. That is not a spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I don't like some of the, you know, some of the people. There's not. I don't think there's a whole lot of monster variety in this game. I think that you're either fighting a goblin or you're fighting, you know, the the stuff in the desert or you're fighting uh, the guardians. That's all. Like three uh, enemies uh, in the, the whole bats, game. The bats, the wolves. Um, the like the the what's the called? But I guess they're reskins, but the, the bone people, you know, that come out out the ground at night. Yeah, I, I mean, I, they they are obviously reskins. I'm talking more of a variety of of stuff you've seen, okay. but you know. And my biggest snack with this game, it's 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 like I said, it's the temples. I can't. I think these are some of the shittiest temples that Zelda's ever implied into one of their games. Now, do you mean the shrines? Shrine? The shrine. no, I'm talking. I'm talking about the legit temple. Shrine. So the yeah, divine, the divine beast. The I divine do not beast? like any of them. Like, you don't like the, any of the, all the, four. I did yeah. the like. You know, I, I thought they were dope. Yeah, I, I mean, they, they're cool. Like you know, I could control them and stuff. Like the, when you get to a terminal, I thought that I, shit was like. Crazy. I, I get yeah. that, but you know, I can't really go. Okay, I don't give a fuck. Okay, you go to the water temple, you do two things, you're done. Like, I just, I don't like how simple, like, they made them simplistic. I think they want more of making them look cool and making, you know, cool mechanics, like, you know, raising the trunk in the water temple, lowering the trunk of the water temple. Fuck you, Jimmy, I'm saying it. I don't care. It's not a spoiler. <laughs> so, you know, it's stuff like that. You know, it, that seems cool, but at the end of the day, it's not really a temple. It's like a machine that they're all oh, go to this point, go to that point, go to this point. You're done. And it's that four times. And then the whole game's pretty much done. It, I do like that. This is the first time that they're like, yo, you don't even have to do these temples. You could just go straight to the middle. <laughs> but, okay. you know, I, I do think that just the temple design in this game, you know, I might be alone. I think that alone makes me want to give this game like an eight out of ten nine out of okay. ten like yeah, a guy beat this game in an hour and five minutes it, it's not even no that. cheats oh, yeah oh. but i can be morrowind in 25 minutes like what's the point but yeah i don't i don't agree that's not, that's not really that. that's not really that's a, not really a, that i feel like that's an issue i feel like that's not even no, that's issue. not an issue that, that was like mad, speed speed that's not an issue that you can beat it mad fast <clears> because i fought i fought ganon and he was he wasn't hard but stuff that happens where it makes him a little easier, and I can't imagine trying to fight him without it. So, <laughs> if that that yeah. dude that beat the game in an hour and a half, he he played that game like a like a Dark Souls game. He deserved that hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> imagine fighting fair him enough, with three. Imagine fighting him with three hearts. Like that is mad hard. Like yeah. I fought him with fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Alex, yo, so um, the flaws of um, Breath of the Wild, since nobody's talking about them. So what do you what do you think is the flaws of the game? I think when you're looking at a game like this, and I think the beginning curve of the game, uh, your stamina, the rock climbing, the certain aspects that you have to like get through, flying uses stamina, swimming uses stamina, climbing uses stamina. Um, I think the beginning curve could have been a little bit easier. Um, especially for newer players, because it's it is a very difficult curve to go through. They don't even tell you. They, to, yeah, they just they drop you in there. They don't they even do tell just, you how to cook in this game. Okay, they, they're yeah, like you learned it all on your own. So a couple of things I like I would have really liked. I would have liked the cookbook to know what I've cooked before, so I can just cook. Yes. It I would have liked to be able to drop weapons from my quick select slot. That would have been nice. Maybe adding the stuff that I cooked into a quick select. That would have been nice. Instead of going into the menu to get a cook to get. To scroll over to the stuff that I cooked, then to eat it, then to go back to go back to the fight. Mm -hmm. um, the weapon degradation doesn't really bother me as much um, as other people because I just kind of see it as like I'm just going to use it; it's going to break, and I'm just going to keep going till I get the master sword. So yeah. it doesn't really bother me um, because I'm used to it with Dark Souls. I'm used to it with everything else. I'm used to it with Witcher. Like I'm used to harder games like that, so it doesn't really have an issue with me. Um, it sucks that I lose it, but at the same time, it's kind of fun to just like. I know this weapon's gonna break, so I'm just gonna fucking throw it at you, kill you, pick up another weapon, and just go. 
Mm. Um, so it's it's kind of neat that way. But I can see why people would be upset about it. Um, the shrines, some of them are very one note. Others are very detailed and intricate. I would have liked them to be a little bit bigger um, instead of having more of them, just more detail in them. But I think the biggest part of this game is that once you break that curve of stamina loss, of climbing in the rain, of getting the right items, then you really start to see the game open up. I just think that beginning, that that introductory 15-hour stretch is just a fucking slugfest, and you're dying <laughs> a lot. And even yeah. for me, who plays Dark Souls continuously, it's... The first you die, time, right? The first like you fucking get, get wrecked. So the first time you get one hit by a goblin, you feel pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty bad, and I yeah. don't know. There, there's a couple of things with it, but you know, it's definitely I would say an eight point five or a nine. Okay. Um. So that's there you go. Some negatives of Breath of the Wild. If you, you guys wanted to hear, <laughs> hold on. Hope you don't even have it. Hope, you, hope you're not gonna sit down here. Hey, <laughs> 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 hey Jay Barry played it. You know, you know what I'm saying, Jack? Yeah, why, why you yeah. disrespect that man like that? Uh, I didn't, I'm not too far into Breath of the Wild. Let's yeah, get he, that. He's on the, yo, he hasn't been touching that shit. You already know he hasn't been touching that shit. No, no, no. I have. I have. I put all, about. Yo, all I'm going to say. Five hours in it. All I'm going to say is, yo, I played the shit out of the game, man, nonstop since I got it. I've had a, I'm, I had a blast with the game, you know. Um, I thought the game was absolutely amazing. You know what I'm saying? Is it a perfect ma- um, 10 out of 10 game? Is it a masterpiece? I think it's something special, yo. I think, yo, I definitely would I recommend if everyone had the means to play it. I would actually recommend this game. That yo, people check it out. I will I consider that a game. Really good. A game like this don't come around very often. It is, you know, yes. the last time we got something like this was like great GTA Five. Like games like this don't come around too often. It's definitely something really good, man. I'm, I don't I'm, know. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna, gonna talk about it too much anymore, yo. I'm just let yo. If people want to check it out, check it out. Hey, I think you I'm not saying the game is it, bad. The game is not bad at all. The game is great from what I played, but everything from what I played in the old Zelda's to now, it has definitely evolved. You know, exploration it's changed definitely. The dyna- how you dyna- yeah. so dynamic how you interact with the world. But the only thing I don't like about this game. Is the combat that combat is? It's like it, I'm like the combat is weak. Let's let's keep that simple. simple. It is very weak. You know what I mean? Like I was like, what is this, man? Come on, man! I was so I'm I'm over here climbing. I'm over here uh, gliding. I'm swimming. You know what I mean? But the combat, that part of the game didn't evolve to me. I'm like, okay, it it, it it's, it's weak. That's my, <laughs> that's, my, that's, my that's my um. No, but yeah, most Zelda's play like it, you know. And, and that's what I'm saying. Everything else evolved except for that aspect, the combat. The combat is like is mediocre at best. It, 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 don't you guys love how the, the Zelda community bitched for like 15 years? We want a jump button. We want a jump button. They imply a jump button finally. And they're like, and then when I started playing this game, I'm like, yo, did they take the rope button? Did they really just one for one us? <laughs> <laughs> it, it, that is one of my other knacks. Like that might be, you know, nothing big to you guys, but sometimes I felt myself in the need to roll and I couldn't roll and it frustrated me. That's what I was looking for, that roll. And I'm like, okay. But, I just want to say, regardless of you know my feelings on the temple, that does not take away from this game. The temples might not be to my standards because I've played temples on Twilight Princess. I've played temples on the other ones. I wanted them kind of temples, you know, massive, deep, the big, the big ones. Yeah, it, 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 it take it take you. It took took you a little bit. I didn't want where I just hit a couple levers and then the game and the entire temple's done. Okay. But besides that, the game, it, it's almost, it, it's like you said, it's almost a masterpiece. Is it a 10 out of 10? Hell no. But even if this game didn't have Zelda, I guarantee you'd be getting 8 out of 10s all through the board. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Um. So I don't think, so Um. I, <laughs> we're on the topic of Nintendo gets a pass. So like, I want to get from the few people who haven't said anything about it yet. So like, J-Bar, I don't think I got to you yet about the whole passing. You, so you believe so then, right? Hell yeah, they get a pass. Um, <laughs> yo, look at this. Okay, Listen, the Switch, this console does launched, and mm-hmm. it's mediocre at best. It does have a great game on there, but people are using that great game within the actual console review. You know who's what I mean? People, like, it, who's I, people? I've seen, it. I've seen it many times with these reviews. Oh, the, the Switch is the Switch is okay, but it has Zelda. You know what I mean? <laughs> I see people reviewing this this console. They talk. They saying. Oh, the, the what's it called? The Joy Cons is all right in the grip, but you know what? This is a pro controller. No, my nigga, the the, <laughs> game, the console came with the Joy Cons with the pro um, with this with the um, grip. 
that's what you got to review on not not the pro control that's a separate review mm -hmm. don't don't mm -hmm. um you know tie that in with your review just to so you can you know um up it up a little bit oh no it'll give it eight dude from ign reviewed the, the switch <laughs> Yeah, but a lot of people like there are some positive reviews out there, but there's also a lot of negative reviews. It, I'm not I'm not saying all in, it should be all negative, but I'm saying do review the switch. My man probably gave his honest review. I don't know. But then a, a video came up behind it. The switch, the switch is all right, but the, the switch is not that good, but that's okay. Like, what is that? <laughs> like yeah, I know, right? <laughs> and then, and two days later, he's fired. <laughs> bro, bro, yeah, that shit was pretty wild. I was like, oh, what happened? No ninjas pulled up Listen, the IGN was like, yo. Imagine if the Scorpio launches with one game. The outrage that's going to follow. Oh, shut up, Jack. Right now, PS5 <laughs> come out. Yo, PS5 come out right now. Oh, launch game, Drive Club 2, and fucking The Last of Us 2. Yo, that's you more than one game? Up? Oh, my God. <laughs> that's more than one game? Right? Look, yeah, you're, not, you're not picking it up? No, you're but listen, no, listen. Way? The PS4 and the Xbox One launch were like 30 games apiece. I and understand. Yeah, I'm asking you personally. Mm. The Last of Us 2 launched with I'm a, I'm a, I'm a PlayStation fan. Okay. I, I want to say. I'm, I'm asking Jack the question. Jack, I'm yeah, asking I'm a, I'm a PlayStation fan. Of course I'm going to get it. Okay, so what's your well, beef then? Well, <laughs> well, my beef, I, I, no, I my wanna, beef is. What's your beef? Yeah. My beef is that. Hold on real quick. My beef right. is that uh, Nintendo does not get held to the same standards as fucking Sony and Microsoft. If Sony and Microsoft can launch for 40 games, people say it's trash, it's shit, they should be ashamed of themselves. Nintendo <laughs> launched with one game, and people are fucking busting nuts over it, bro. Uh, right. yo, but yo, man, like, yo, yo, I know what you guys are talking about. I've seen reviews saying that, yo, the everyone's saying, like, yo, their lineup is whack. Everyone's saying that their launch lineup is whack. But, but, but that's okay, though, right? That's what they're saying. <laughs> all right, all right, Jack. I just want to ask you one question. What's Name up? one launch title from any console that's better than Legend of Zelda. Super Mario. I, I, I never played Legend of Zelda. So no, well, okay, that that you feel it hasn't been be one on in recent years or, would be on this on this. Well, list. you don't want to ask me because I'll say a game like Uncharted: Golden Abyss. Mm. Oh my <laughs> God! Stop! <laughs> oh God! Stop. I, would I would rather play that. Here's it. Okay, here's it. You don't want to ask. Okay, I just exactly. Exactly. I just want to say one thing. That's fair. <laughs> Why is it okay for people to want to buy a PS4 for Uncharted? That's eventually? not the, that's not the hold issue. Hold on, hold on. Let, let, let me finish All my right, statement. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, when you bought a PS4, you was like, Uncharted 4 is definitely going to be out. I'm going to cop that when it comes out. Okay, I've seen you in in podcasts say that okay. one of the prime reasons you bought it was for Uncharted 4. Is that true or false? For the PS4? I was going to buy a PS4 regardless. Uh, okay, okay. Let's let's continue. Let's continue. Okay, I bought... I bought my Xbox for a potential fable that looks like we ain't gonna get okay. in, in Halo 5 because I liked it and I knew that it was coming out eventually. Okay. So why is it okay for people to pick up a hey, uh, PS4 for Uncharted eventually? Yes. To pick up To pick up an Xbox Ooh. for Halo eventually, but Zelda pick up the, the Switch that it ought already comes out. There ain't no eventually to it. People are picking it up for the okay. game they want to play on the console. That's Absolutely. What he said, though. But this this is not the it, that's not my issue. My issue is their perception by the public. Mm. Like and it's been bad though. Well, overall, no, no, not really, not really, not, not really. No, it has not been. No. The reason that no one cares about the other ones is because that is that good. <laughs> I, but look though, this is my thing. I don't care what like I don't care what nobody buy, but you can't sit up here and say a system that launched with one game. I don't give a fuck how great it is. It's amazing, but a system that launched with damn near forty games and you shitting on it. Like what? What did the PS4 have? Knack? Yeah, the main gun? No, what what the games, the games no. with the features? Do you realize that which have no features? Do you exactly that too. Yeah. Uh, let, let, let BG, let BG come in. Do you realize that because of Zelda, like people have caught complete amnesia about the Switch's lineup? People completely <laughs> forgot. <laughs> no, legit. People have completely forgot. Zelda has like Put a complete blindfold over their eyes that people don't even realize that that the Switch has no lineup. That right. could never. That could <laughs> never know happen. this. Yo, never happen. No, yo, people you know this. Yo. Launch with one game. You would hear about that nine months after the shit came out. I, I will give you that, BG. I beat no, Zelda, look. and I thought to myself, like, "What's like, next?" Look, There's not look, much. Look, 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 look at what happened with Microsoft. People still bitching up about their about their uh, fucking first conference five years later. I got the damage. I, I could do damage. one better than that. I could do one better than that. 
people was ready to boycott Sony because they didn't display 4K well enough at the pro conference, <laughs> and they was looking at the shit through a that... 720p display. <laughs> no, of course, you're not gonna see it, what bro. Is the, it's the fat boys and stuff. No, no. Really saying, why was the PS3 being shitted on so badly by the media and the, you know? So, 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 yo, okay, look, okay. Do we do, look? In reality, do we expect more from Microsoft and Sony? Yes, the answer is absolutely yes. Absolutely. I'm not sitting here saying that. Um, I don't believe when it comes, to, especially to the consoles, because Nintendo, yo, they do. Everyone knows they do some. They're doing some different. That's, that's yeah, they get a pass. Yeah, Everybody, I don't know. That's a, right I, don't know that's, I don't know. You consider that a but, pass? But right? Cole, for but what you're saying is something. you're giving them a pass right now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they do that's exactly something. what you're saying. Exactly, yeah. you're giving them a pass right now. Because okay, I guess, I guess, yeah, I guess you could. <laughs> I, 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 what we talk about? Yeah, I would I guess never so. give. I guess so, yeah, I would never give them a pass. But, like, yo, but you, you guys kind of sit here and act like they ain't doing something different. No, they, they make great games. Different. I'm not, they I'm make, not. See, that's not the even into the games, yo. But even like what their whole, their whole vision and what they're doing is like completely different than what Microsoft yeah. and and Sony's doing. They're racing for you know 4K. They're racing for the the, the best, the best technology. While Nintendo is kind of playing a different game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're different. No, we yeah, they're, kind of, yeah. they're playing a different game. You know, and that could work. That's not really a bad. Is that a bad thing it's, that they're playing a different game? Absolutely no, not. Absolutely it's not. Yeah, it's not really a bad thing though. It's not even the launch titles that get on my nerves about the Switch. It's that shitty ass thing they call a UI. Like that's what gets on it's my nerves. Existent. From yeah, what I'm it, 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 it's not there at all. You can't even. Yeah, see. It, it, yeah no one here is that. No one here. Look, Jack Move can attest. If you guys, J Man can attest. No one's here. Damage controlling the problems of the Switch. I've been saying, yo, what I have yeah, the problems. Yeah, all I've been I'm saying, saying is I've been saying the problems of the Switch. switch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like, you know, it, it, right now, yo, like, right, right like, now the games is holding it. Like right now, Nintendo only has to. Well, right now, they can only fall back on the games, game support right now, as yeah. of now. You know, the social features are not there. But, yeah. yo, if they drop heat games, then, yo, guess what? Mans like me who care about games are going to play it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, yo, they be, like, they be like, the UI sucks, but the musical tone for the UI. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this. If they can drop the caliber, obviously, they can't drop a Zelda every two months. Like, you know, there are other franchises, and they can drop the caliber of a game like Zelda every couple months. Like, it Switch is gonna fly off the shelves. <laughs> but, yeah, they keep dropping great games. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we have what yeah. three? We have what four months, and Odyssey is gonna be looked at. I mean, listen, listen. Like, honestly, if I, I'm, I'm actually I like recommending. Be if I'm actually gonna Zelda. like, if someone asks me, Yo, should I get a Switch or not? First of all, the questions I'm gonna ask you: Do you like Nintendo's IPs? That's number one. If you don't like it, why don't waste your money? That's number one. You know what I'm saying? And right now, if someone said, should I get a Switch right now? I would say no. You know what I'm saying? I would actually tell the person no. Someone actually DM'd me and said, should I get a Switch? And I asked him, yo, do you like Nintendo's IPs first of all? No. He said no. Um, What type of games do you play? He's like, oh, he plays like, uh, he likes Sony exclusives and like stuff like Uncharted. I'm like, all right, then no. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I wouldn't give anyone bad advice to like, yo, go get a Switch. Look, if you're into Nintendo's IPs, definitely you, the Switch might be a good thing to look at. Even right now, I wouldn't even recommend it, but... You know, at the end of this year, at Christmas, it might not be a bad time, you know, to pick it up if you're into, you know, Nintendo IPs. Because by then, there's going to actually be a handful of games out. You know what I'm saying? As well, of right Mario now, definitely. Crazy. Yeah, that Mario Xenoblades got reconfirmed for um this year. You know, Fire Emblem Awakening is coming. We got Mario Kart. Mm -hmm. We got Splatoon. So at the end, by Christmas think, time, the lineup yeah. won't be so bad. You know what I'm saying? So and, and I don't. Never, yeah, so you never know. Like, I feel like the Switch is going might have a good holiday. And... I feel like some people, some people are are writing off the you know Jack's life. I feel like some people are writing off the the platform too early. You know what I'm saying? And or I you don't, don't think so. I don't you think we're gonna. I don't think we're gonna see that drought we saw in the Wii U because I do. You see companies that made Bravery Default was what was a DS exclusive. Uh, uh, they they made Bravery Default, you know, Secret Default. They, these were very highly Metacritic games, and a lot of people love these games. It even it even convinced Square Enix that they need to redo how they do Final Fantasies because of how successful that game was. Yep. And, and you got these companies saying our next game's on the Switch, and they only made 3DS games for like ten years. <laughs> Yo, because Nintendo combined their handheld and console studios apparently like that, like they combined. They combine they, them. So they, they combine. You, want, you yeah. want the Switch Watch to fall off the shelf. You it's are, very why it can't be like the, the 3DS? What do you mean? What are you talking about? They combine the, the handheld division, you said, right? Yeah, the handheld division with their console division. That's what I heard. But why the UI is looking like that? Why it look like the 3DS? Let, what's, let's. What's uh, wrong with the UI, to be honest? Kate, Kate, look, I'm, 
We're that, keeping it hundred. The switch is rushed, yo. We all know, yeah. We all know this. The switch is missing bare shit. Yeah, I'm not gonna. You know what I'm saying we all know this. There's no damage it control. Has the activity. Yo, right now we have no activity log, no way to send messages. There's oh, um, no about, like the features of the UI. Yeah, yeah the, the features, features of the UI. Is the I like UI. The UI. What? Yeah, I'm the not features yet lacking. The features is lacking. The UI is fine, <laughs> but the features itself, yeah, there's not much to do on the platform besides play games right now. It is what it is. Right now, the platform is okay. rushed. You okay. Okay. I'm uh, not gonna damage control. Kofi, copy. Kofi. Yo, what's up? <laughs> I I'm, I went back and I went back and pulled up a just a a uh, review from the PlayStation Four, mm -hmm. the actual console, okay. and a review from the uh, Nintendo Switch. Both okay. from the Washington Post. Both from oh, Haley. Tuxi Katayama, whatever her last hey, name is. I never heard of her. Right. Never heard of her. But she's from the Washington Post. She wrote the review yeah. for both of these. Okay. On the PS4, she says, right now the PlayStation 4 is a powerful console, but one that needs more content to realize its full potential. Mm. Not, really a, not, not really negative, but not really positive either. Okay. On the Switch. In the past, Nintendo's been accused of sticking to cheaper feeling designs, probably because of its association with children. But the Switch feels like a grown-up's device with the just the <laughs> right amount of heft and quality materials that make you feel like you're though. getting your money's worth. I would actually agree with that, though. You would agree with the two? I would agree with that. What she said with the Switch is, is actually kind of facts, though. So, I'm, so, am I lying or not? I've owned a Wii U. What did she say about the... the PS4 is missing features, but the Wii with the Switch is what? Yeah, she didn't even mention that. I understand, yeah. You mentioned that, so that's a problem. That right there shows you exact media bias because it was the exact same person that wrote that. So we all could confirm there is there is a media bias then. Like, so no, I don't want to hear none of you guys saying there's no media bias when Xbox is getting shitted on by the media. I don't want to hear that. No, but that's Okay. Oh, now, here we go. Here we go. No, <laughs> there's, like, there's a media bias against the con. Against so, against so, yo, there's a media bias, so let's call it what it is. Yo, we, I think uh, we heard BG say there's no media bias before. We heard all you niggas say there's no media bias. So, so you guys believe there's a media bias then? No, what uh, to, use that word. I know what I think. It well, is, here, let me, I'll, like, I'll find out. I'll, I'll see if I can find her review. Yo, BG, what you say? BG, what you say? I said, uh, for the record, I just want to let y'all know I never use that word. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm, pretty sure I, I'm pretty sure I could pull up some Weapon Wheel podcast where you're talking about media bias. I'm still, I'm still sticking by. There's no media bias. There's nostalgia, though. There's a difference. <laughs> Doc, so you're trying to tell me every single one of those Zelda reviews are all nostalgia, basically. Uh -huh. No, I'm not saying Zelda's not a great game. I believe Zelda is a, a, is a, a, nine, is a nine, uh, 9 out of 10, or at least. But I don't believe it's a 10 out of 10 or a 9. <laughs> there, there's no yeah, game at 10 out of 10. And that, and that got nothing to do with like it being Zelda. I don't believe I don't believe The Last of Us is a 10 out of 10. It's got nothing to do with like what platform it's on. I don't even believe The Last of Us is that. I don't believe Uncharted 4 is what it is what it's rated at. Which is rated at, like. Oh, don't ask him about what you think. What your three is the okay. only game I would consider to be a okay. Ten. So, 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 B, so, BG, for the record, is there a me? So, is there a media bias? Yes or no? So we hear it and we have it. We could pull up the archives. We need to hear. No, there is not media bias. There is nostalgia sometimes. Okay. When it comes to certain games. <laughs> okay. Here we here we go. I just want I want to, I want to point out again the same person for the Washington Post hmm. review the Xbox One. Now, oh, we back. remind you. We know the Xbox One launched and its games ran like shit. It says, although it can be easy, easy to overlook the Xbox One gaming capabilities, they're still at its heart. And the specs are everything that you may expect of a next generation console and well matched against newly released PlayStation 4. Xbox One graphics are smooth and fluid and with responsive gameplay and few glitches. Bro, like, yeah. So where's the media bias on that one? That, okay, she actually just, shit on yo, the PlayStation 4. I just want to ask, who is... Who is this chick? <laughs> like, she writes for the, writes for the Washington Post. I just found one that was actually the exact same yo, person. Like, first of all, three. like, yo, these people, like, that's how I don't really even take, like, I take people, I I consider people's, like, reviews, like, but then again, I don't take them, like, as the holy grail, like, all the time, I you know, know what I'm saying? I don't take, because, like, sometimes, yo, I don't know their gaming I history, I don't know much about the, about the people, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's it's sad, but I, I would take, like, BG's word over, like, all these guys' work, because I know... I know him personally. I know what he plays. I know what kind of taste he likes. You know what I'm saying? You know, we yeah, have I don't, certain I, similarities of what type of games that we we play. So I I'd rather come into the community to like get you know ideas on games that 
Um, I only look for I only look at reviews after the fact, but I mean the the corporate like Washington review, Post, like all of that, like I don't, well, like, I don't yeah, know. the corporate reviews like that. Th those people probably don't even play games. That's just their job. True, you, you know, I, I do like. Is that is that all she really said was just generated around those things? Yeah, those are that's like, a, that, well, that was her review word for word on well, all. Then, then you could tell that you know she ain't really that into that shit. Because what I remember about the Xbox One release is it was dog shit when it came to features too. Not compared to the Switch, but you couldn't your That's friends fun, list didn't pop yeah. up. You couldn't snap yeah. your friends list. Why is it none of this in her review? Why is exactly. it just that? So clearly she don't know what and she's they, talking and the about. Games, the games didn't run smooth on the Xbox One when they when it launched. I mean there was there was a fair share of problems with the with the actual gameplay and the actual mechanic. Uh, Game, uh, excuse me, the smoothness of the frame rate and everything else. Yeah, but y'all know the people that do the professional reviews, they only spend like a couple of minutes, maybe a True. couple of hours. With well, a I mean, it's like a review of don't fully it test really it. It's literally yeah. their job. So, I mean, it, it, it'd be almost like you, I'm mean, like, if you, if you were a construction worker, when you get off work, are you going to be building shit at your house? Likely not. Yeah, exactly. you're gonna be you're gonna be tired of it. So she's probably these people probably aren't gamers. They're just there because they got put into a job. They're a reporter, and they said that, that their yeah. boss said, yeah, "You know what? You got the gaming beat." Yeah, for sure. Like yo, all that shit is real clickbait titles played off like you know fanboys just to make headlines. That shit's yo, all she's real. Yo. Not a game at all. Yeah, hundred percent. That shit's hundred percent real. Like sometimes like there's a great game out, then you get this random website on Metacritic, like no one has heard of, gives us some shitty ass like square. Like all of that shit's click. Like that's clickbait. You know what I'm saying? Like people people know this. What gets clicks and stuff like that? They want to be talked about, get more you know traffic on their site. So exactly. yeah, that, that tactic is being used in the industry. And you 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 dumb if you don't think it is being used. Oh, well, it, I mean, is is a perfect example of why that works. That's Kotaku and Polygon. And yeah, po those I two can... websites are the worst, the absolute yeah. worst. Yeah, yo, they play, they play, they play in the game. Like they know what gets clicks. They know that what kind of headlines to use. Well, to... Look at, I mean, they you they start, start, their oh. their viewership actually went down like a ton, and so what? So to get them more relevant, they went after PewDiePie and just put his name in the title. That's all they had to do. And man, all of a sudden they got a they they became relevant again. No, did they? Okay, uh, they, their viewership didn't go down. Hulkamania ran wild on them. <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you see them. So, I mean, they, they're just there for the clicks. They don't really give a shit about what's the content of the story. They just care about that, that, that one title to make you click. Once you click, it doesn't matter if you read the shit or not. I mean, they made their money. Yeah. Is her, is she, should we take her, her critique seriously, though? That's what I want. I don't, no, I don't, I don't think. That's you, what, yo, that's why there's more. I don't Look, like that's why there's multiple first. reviews. That's what's the beauty. The beauty of this, there's multiple opinions out there. That's the beauty thing, you know, not just one that we have to go based off. You know, that we could there's tons of reviews, tons of views that you can see to make your own personal decision. You know what I'm saying? That's what I that's what you're supposed to you're supposed to do. Like, if you're interested in a game or some, and like I recommend you, know, you check, you know, all sorts of YouTubers opinions don't just watch one yeah you it's you, you, I check, go you to check, YouTube. yeah go to youtube you go to youtube maybe watch my video maybe watch jay main's video maybe watch bg's video then you come uh, up with your own your own um you know idea you know what i'm saying you think for yourself you don't they, they still influence us though you know, like, know. we can influence yeah but i say what what i recommend people to do if they don't do this already is look at multiple views you know what i'm saying yes look at multiple views and come up with your own you know decision. Well, I mean, you can you can kind of tell you can kind of tell like it by looking my my thought is always with reviews i've never actually looked at a review before i bought a game i just buy them mm -hmm. so if you but if, if you were going to look at a review for like a purchase then i would i would look at multiple reviews and then say like if if uh kofi here is saying the game is uh you know kept keep kept on like it's dropping frames and then all of a sudden bg you go to bg saying and he's talking about how great the game is but he's like it, it kind of feels like it's dropping frames and then you go to jay mains and he's like talking about dropping frames guess what it's probably dropping frames yeah. you, you, can, you yeah. can probably leave the other part of it out because that's probably like the part that they did like and that's all going to be their opinion but that part of it the, by them dropping frames yeah. probably going to be the factual piece to it so you have to get a whole picture by looking at more than yeah. one yeah, you look at multiple views, multiple sources, then you come up with your own conclusion yourself. You know what I'm saying? And by now, like, you you, sh you should have... Look, this is how I see it. Like, when you're following a YouTuber or you're following, like, someone on Twitter, you should align yourself with people that have similar tastes with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially if you want to get their opinion on certain things. You know what I'm saying? You you align yourself with, with someone that, oh, you see that? Oh, yeah, we're, we kind of like the same s stuff. You know what I'm saying? And that helps a lot. That's... 
that's how I see it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I really like doing is if I is like I watch a lot of giantbomb.com and they do these things called quick looks where it's really just an hour and a half of them playing games that aren't out yet. And they'll talk about the game as they're playing it. They'll say, this sucks. This doesn't suck. This is pretty good. I don't like this. You can see what's happening before the game's out and you can get their opinion on it. And that's, I think that's way more important than a review to personally, because it's, it's on the spot. It's something that you're seeing right then and there. And it's a, it's an instant reaction. Well, yeah, because you can kind of actually see if they're just bitching about something because you can actually see the actual game playing as it's going. I mean, you, mm -hmm. you can't see if that, like in a written review, you can't tell if the person actually experienced that or just bitching about it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I honestly, I feel like yo, know, YouTube is honestly like the best source to get information on that. As long as you go to the right people, you know what I'm saying. That's why you should. That's why, like I said, you should just align align yourself with someone who has similar tastes with you. Then you know, go from there. You know what I'm saying. Anyways, let's keep it moving. Um, before we get to the big mega topic of the day, I'm gonna save that for last. <laughs> oh, let's just yeah. go. Let's just go over a, um a little a little bit of the smaller stuff. All right, the Switch sold 1.5 million um units at launch. What do you guys think? Quickly, is it good? That's a positive launch. It's yeah, a good launch. Good, good launch. Mm -hmm. Jack, move. What do you think? That's good. That's great for one game. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, they didn't even sell 1.5 million games either. So, yo, yo yeah, it didn't sell one to one. I mean, that's that's good, man. What, yeah. Weapon wheel. What do you think, man? Uh, what what was it? Oh, 1.5 switches sold at launch. What do you think, good or bad? Uh, that's average. Average. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so 1.3 million copies of Zelda Breath of the Wild was sold. Also, wow, Is that, that's disappointing. That's a, that's a crazy attach rate, though, yo. That's, I was expecting one. That's not a crazy attach rate to whenever you only have that game to play. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. If PS4 launched right now, that had, you know, and it launched only with Horizon, Horizon would be at uh, close to a 50, 60 million. Uh, uh, because it would probably. be the only game to play. <laughs> yeah, but that's so crazy. Like, I don't I don't give it, we still got to give props what it is. That's still a big. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's yeah, good. I think it's good. I mean, it's good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Attach rate is expected. Is that yeah. 1.3 just for the Switch, though? No, 1.3 million copies of Zelda. 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 1.5. 1.5 Switch. No, no, no. I'm saying that Zelda on the Switch. Oh, yeah. Just only the Switch. Only the Switch. Okay, 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 okay. That's not. The thing is, when you're looking at the attach rate and like how many units it sold, how, what, it came out like, what, three weeks ago, four weeks ago? I don't even know. I think so. March seven. Yeah, March, yeah, like March seven. So, March so, second, yeah. so two weeks ago it came out, and in two weeks you went through 1.6 million units. <laughs> That's pretty impressive in that small amount of time to go through the allotted what two million they said that they were going to release worldwide at that point in time. Look, mm -hmm. I really, yo, I really want the Switch to do well. First of all, oh, it's actually pretty it. cool. It's probably is it actually really a cool portable gaming device. Like, look, I have a long history. I don't know about some of you guys, but I have a long history of handhelds. You know. My first platform that was purchased for me, like directly, was my first gaming platform purchased for me directly was a handheld. It was a Game Boy Color. That was like my first one. It wasn't my first console at home, but it was the first one that like it was a gift to me. You know what I'm saying? So ever mm -hmm. since then, I've every, I've had every single Nintendo handheld, every single variation, I've every single I've every single PSP variation and PS Vita variation. So you know, like coming from someone who's like gaming, like I've gamed heavenly mobile. You know. I can't help but hold the switch and be like, yo, this shit's amazing. You know what I'm saying? Like the type of game, like playing Zelda Breath of the Wild on the screen like that. It's amazing. Yeah, when I hook it up to the TV, it's whack. You know what I'm saying? To keep it 100, I pl I honestly hooked up Zelda Breath of the Wild to the TV twice, and I, I wasn't really with it. You know? The I only did it to record. <laughs> yeah, real talk. Yo. The premium, <laughs> yo, the best experience is, yo, just kicking, kicking back and just playing it on your bed or something or just maxing out, just chilling, playing it. You know, that's like my best experience with the Switch, you know, so Definitely. far. And from, you know, playing like multiple handhelds, like I said in the past, like, yo, when I play, I can't, I can't like shake the feeling like, yo, this is magical, yo. Like just the screen, how, how nice it looks, yo, play that fast race and the shit looks beautiful, you know? So mm -hmm. right now, yo, um, it's really, it's just really on the games at this point. Like really the games will tell if it's a success or not. Right oh, yeah. now there's rumors going on saying that like, yo, Game Freak is hiring for a new Pokemon game. Like, yo, oh my I want that. Yeah, that's selling like crazy. Oh, I yeah, say, you put Pokemon that's, on that. That's game over. Yo, you I put a Pokemon on the Switch, it's, it's Yo, I want, dumb. yo, listen, I want Nintendo to come out. I want the Switch to do well. Look, it doesn't have to do as well as a PS4. That doesn't mean that it's successful. It has to like be num the number one selling platform but i want it to do well so it could prove uh, a point that 
you know, graphics and, you know, super performance, you know, it's still like games still outweigh that. You know what I'm saying? Like you could still have the weakest shit, you know, but you have dope ass games and still be super successful. So I really want the Switch to come out and make that point. So hopefully Nintendo delivers on, on the games because right now, yo, it's all on the games right now. Yeah. I think it's going to have to be after the first year. Uh, <laughs> that's when you're really going to tell if it's going to be a success or not because the Wii U was actually a pretty decent console for the first year. Mm-hmm. Uh, with third party support and stuff, and then all of a sudden, but, it just but you know what's cra- but you know what's crazy? We're keeping it 100. Like, we're looking at like the first year of the Wii U and the Switch. The, already, the Switch's first year kind of shits on the Wii U if you really true. take it in. I mean, well, also, true, yes, it already shits on it. So, yo, so far, like, I would say for the first year, yeah, the launch lineup definitely trash. Well, I was say the first year promised, the first yo, year promised the first on year the Switch. Good. I, I think the best way for y'all to tell would be when they get that 16 million out there, and if that moves by the end of the year, then you know, yeah. You and you know, you know, Jimmy, yeah. the thing is, the thing is, yo, that's all up on the software. Like, <laughs> I put everything on the games, you know, so they if they could drop the great games, and yo, I think well, I actually know think they it's got possible. No <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, who knows, yo, so we'll but see. Three, I, I know choice. Yeah, three games this year. What you say? They no, only no. got three games this year that could save them. No, no. Wait, no. What, what we got? We got for someone buying a Switch at Christmas. What they got to play? Splatoon two, Mario Kart eight, Mario, Zelda, Breath of the Wild, Xeno, Xenoblade Chronicles um two, um and Mario Odyssey. So you know that's actually not a bad bad lineup. It's Splatoon, right? Yeah, Splatoon two. Yeah, okay. yeah they got like Fire Emblem Splatoon. and Fire Emblem Warriors. Um, all of them are coming out this year. So that's you not a bad time. Yo, so, what you say? You name it all the games you're gonna buy. <laughs> yo, but yeah, those are those are those are the only games that are out. <laughs> yeah, but those games, yo, but those are the big games. Like those are the big games though. It's like three games out. If you those are the big games out though. It's three big games. Zelda, Mario, Zelda, Mario, Splatoon. Imagine if they were able to make a Monster Hunter in the time. No, you already know those are coming. You already know those are coming, dog. All right, yo. So let's keep it moving. You know, I think we have enough Nintendo talk. Um, since we were talking about sales, Horizon Zero Dawn also sold. 2.6 million in two weeks. So I'm awesome. going to hold a loaf because... Yeah, I'm going to hold a loaf too. I, 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 I made the I was, bet I, too. I, I was talking some shit with BG. I don't know if he remembers. Uh, I, I do. talking some shit. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was <laughs> part of the two, Kofi. We both took I'll it. Say it yeah, I will say that, yo, Zelda Breath of the Wild is going to have a bigger first week than Horizon because I never knew that Horizon would be so successful, to tell you the truth. Man, I didn't even have I enough consoles. I, 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 didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't believe that. I didn't believe that PlayStation gamers will go out in droves and buy it like they did. So I'm actually su- really did. surprised. And, and yeah, it's, that's really good. That's really good. Yeah, it's small great. base versus how many Switches they had to it's sell. Not, to but, nah, not really. Because but you've got, you know, you two, got million my, switches? two million you know, Switches? Yeah, you what? know what? You know 15 why, million we use, though. Yeah, you know why I made that prediction? Because... Prior to uh, the release of the Nintendo Switch, Nintendo said that they're gonna have two million Switches out. I guess I don't know if they they did or not. So I, I was I was under the assumption that like, yo, Zelda is gonna move one to one, not as obviously be exactly it, you know, but pretty damn close. And I didn't I didn't believe that Horizon was gonna we'll do two do, million. I got yeah, you. I didn't believe I got Horizon was gonna do like a mil. It, in the first week or a mil or 1.5 in its first week you know what yeah, i'm saying to be honest i didn't think it would go above I didn't, a million in the first month yeah you know what i'm saying so i'm i'm super impressed that the month no what are we talking about, talking about? <laughs> we're talking about a new IP that I didn't know if the fans were going to watch out. You got three. Not. You got three new IPs. Cool. On, you got three new IPs I, I, I on think, PlayStation think, that actually went over. Yeah, let, let's hear what BG, Let me let me hear what BG says. So, so horizons are the, the most <laughs> like I hit a nerve. <laughs> the most touted game by PlayStation in the last like two three years. You had you ha- had a hard time believing that would sell a million in a month. <laughs> not not in a month, not me you, personally. No, that's what gaming no, addict says. <laughs> you, you understand shitty games sell like at least seven hundred thousand sometimes in a week. Yeah, like, yeah. games that not, not even advertised properly sell seven hundred thousand in a week. <laughs> you didn't think Horizon would do that in a in, in a month? Where, where y'all live? Where, what's going on? Dog, no one said like no one said I didn't think Horizon was gonna sell, but I was just surprised. I didn't think it was I gonna guess, do one point five yeah, like one point five its first week. You know I guess saying? me saying a million was undershooting it. You know, but I just didn't think that it would that sell crazy. above two in two weeks. Yeah, yeah, that oh. one I I didn't predict that. I didn't see that coming. I guess BG like, did, but in I didn't no know way. I saw it coming. 
when that, that one it was the advertisement was 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 too heavy on it for yeah, it, it definitely was advertised by it. I didn't know it was highly anticipated and I didn't know people I mean, were gonna they first showed it. it. It's nice to see that you know it, it's supported out. It was good. It's good. Yeah, that's good. Now well, Xbox really people need to jump on that train. Oh, <laughs> the thing is, what's really great about Horizon is that it doesn't have a season pass. It doesn't have right. microtransactions. It doesn't fucking shit on you. They made a full, complete fucking game, and they charge you the right price for that game, and you got a full fucking experience with the potential to have sequels. Yeah, that yeah. game is doing things that I was not expecting Sony to do because I was expecting microtransactions. They didn't ham-fist anything in there. They just made, let Gorilla make <laughs> yeah. a really good fucking game. Let's keep it That's 100, yo. Yeah. Microsoft's on this microtransaction bandwagon right now, yo. With every, I swear all their major releases like have microtransactions now, yo. Even Xbox Halo has Wars, a service, man. Even Halo Wars 2 yeah. somehow yeah. Fa- found a <laughs> They made a whole other mode so they could sneak that microtransaction. <laughs> I feel, like, yo, I feel like that's their game plan with Sea of Thieves. I bet you cracked oh, yeah. out have some shit in the there. Like, everything is online based. Oh, yeah, don't oh, my God. God. You don't need no Microsoft hating here, sir. Sea of Thieves. Is that- <laughs> sea of Thieves is des- definitely going to be like a streamer's paradise. So it's going to heavily be like in Microsoft. Yeah, yo, yo, I think, yo, what game did they start off? I don't know. It was Forza <laughs> that they started off, Forza 5 with that. But they probably seen Cash and they're like, yo, yo, we're going to do this with every one of our major releases. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, man. People are buying them, man. That uh, I think Rand, Rand, uh, Al, Al Thor, or whatever, said that the only thing keeping Gears Four alive is the microtransactions. That's man, horrible. That's, that's, that's horrible. Crazy, man. That's crazy. All right, yo. So let's let's hit up the big topic of the day. You know what I'm oh, saying? I know what this is. I already know what it's going to be. Come on, Jack. You ready, Jack? Jack, I'm ready for this one. Because right. 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 Jack move is wrong. All right, all right, I'm good. All right, so let me let me let me you know introduce it, yo. So <laughs> it all started when PlayStation Now Here we go. Um, got announced um, that they're gonna be releasing PS4 games on PC. So as soon as I seen this tweet, guess what I did? I went on Twitter right away and put ha 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 ha. I, I was trolling the fuck out of PlayStation <laughs> that, that entire day because it was hilarious to me because I knew it was gonna be a shit show. I just knew from the jump. That was going to be an absolute shit show. And it was because I knew what Xbox fanboys were going to jump on and start saying that, you know, oh, what's it called? PlayStation got no exclusives now because they had to deal with this for so long. You know what I'm saying? Because their game's been going to PC. You know what I'm saying? So now, you know, it was their time to shine finally and time to, you know, get back. So I was honestly having a good time. Like, I really didn't give a shit, to be honest. Like, I really don't care. And the news itself literally won't have no impact on playstation but it was just funny because playstation fanboys got super super butt hurt they that. still are <laughs> Yo, fuck, it's crazy i trolled for the whole day and you know i was trolling for that whole day then the next day like people were still talking about it and people were still damaged i'm like yo y- y'all still on this yo like really like they changed their names yo, on twitter man yo people were so butt hurt and i, I was just enjoying myself because you know I it's, it's funny because Xbox fanboys are super sensitive, you know, and I always believe that, yo, if PlayStation fanboys were in the same boat, they would probably behave the exact same way as Xbox dudes, you know what I'm saying? If they got in the, if they were in the same circumstances and this news proved that, yo, my theory was definitely right because sometimes PlayStation guys tend to act like they have a certain, you know, maturity level or oh, then Xbox fanboys, but nah, they're all the same. Let's, we just keep it on it. All these fanboys are exactly the same. So, um, I was debating people uh, on Twitter about, you know, does it mean that um, now that PS4 games are going to be debuting on PlayStation now, does it mean that yeah. the games are so exclusive now? You know, so I was de- I was um talking about that on Twitter, having discussions with people. Then I brought up the topic about okay, because I couldn't get a straight a- answer with that. And I brought up the talk about topic about emulation. You know, since I could play Mario Kart 8 on my PC via um C E M U, um, does it mean that it's exclusive or not? So I wanna talk to the panel and get their ideas on this. So PlayStation 4 games being on PlayStation now, being accessible on PC, are the games exclusive or not? Game and Addict, start us off. What do you think? I think you know, first off, we don't even really know what games are coming over. We just know it's co- we don't, streaming yeah. service yeah. is coming. I mean, even if every PlayStation game went over, I, and, you know, I, I love how people say, well, PC gamers wouldn't play it. Okay, 
you put some Xbox game on PC, they flocked to that shit. You know, they, they some of them obviously, you know, the diehards didn't. But there's a lot of people who who have never played, who haven't played games, you know, gears in years. They, they they bought it on PC, and if you put Uncharted on that streaming service, some of these PC gamers don't care what they gonna play. They gonna play it. Anybody <laughs> playing that? Yeah. Okay, yo, okay. <laughs> all right, yo, all right, yo. So, so. Let's let's get this straight. I want to put some some down on the table real quick. Look, we don't know what PlayStation Four games are coming to PS now yet. All right, hundred percent game releases w- won't be obviously day and day. We all can agree that because look at the oh, surface, yeah. it rolls it rolls games over time. So it's not like a new game is going to drop and it's going to be on PlayStation now. Because I've seen some people tweeting some crap about that. But does it have the potential to come to PlayStation now in the future? Yes. yes. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's yes. So when those games come on PlayStation now and they're ac- accessible on PC, are they Multiplat. exclusive or multiplayer? They're, they're that's multiplayer. The, that's the multiplayer. It's There's not no that it run. It There's might not, be streaming. You know, yo, listen. It's <sighs> not the fact that it's running at 720p, that don't matter. That's irrelevant to the conversation. I don't want to hear none. No, no one talk about performance because that's ir- absolutely irrelevant to the conversation the fact that the games are accessible without a ps4 on a, another tomorrow. platform on another platform another platform means they, 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 does it mean it's exclusive or multi-plat so game and i you didn't say is it what do you believe exclusive or multi-plat it's it they're they're multi-plat it's it's no denying whatsoever i do think it's funny because if this service goes really good don't think so if sony drops on chartered and their subscription triples don't think they won't think about making pc ports after that that would that would be mm-hmm. awesome. Okay, all right. So you feel that multiplat? It's Alex, multiplat. You, there's no Alex, way around it. Alex, what do you think? I think this is a really weird topic because this is more of a shot across the bow to GameStop and use games more than anything. Um. So when you're looking at something like this and you're saying, okay, how do we stop use games? This is the way to do it. Microsoft is doing it with their Game Pass. Sony's doing it with PS Now. Do I think they're still exclusive? Yes. Um, okay. You're still paying for a service. You're still using that service to play those games, regardless of but that service where you physically. <laughs> well, the thing is, it's where you physically play it doesn't really matter anymore. Um, okay. I think a lot of that is going to change. I think where you're going to see is you're going to see a lot of services and a lot of game companies start doing what they do with EA Access, with PS Now, and with um, Xbox Game Pass, where you're just going to be playing it wherever you are. And as long as you're part of that service, you're going to be able to play those games like Netflix. So that's, I think that's where a lot of gaming is going to move to. Um, but it's still exclusive. It's not like you're playing it on Xbox. You're playing it on a PC, which is honestly an agnostic system. But still, it's... All right, so we'll, we're going to get back to Alex why he thinks that. So, J-Man, what do you think? Oh, it's definitely a multiplayer. Um, if I can play a game a PS4 game and it's not if it's when because Sony wouldn't be bringing this service to uh, PC if they're don't plan on bringing their AAA games eventually. Of course, of, co- of course. So, if I can play Uncharted 4 on my PC through PlayStation now without a PS4, then that's a multiplayer to me. Um doesn't that's matter what, how you, how yeah, how it plays. <clears throat> I don't care if settings platform, you don't yeah, okay. All and right. I think PlayStation now is shit, but we we ain't talking about that. We yeah, talk as, about yeah, where yeah, I can we're talking about exclusive or multiplayer. Yeah, like we yes, know PlayStation now. I'll admit PlayStation now is absolute trash. You know, ever, ever since um since this news got dropped, I'm like, yo, you know, let me give this shit a go on my PC this time because it's been a while since I tried it. You know what I'm saying? I tried mm. it complete junk. What's like, your download speed? It's 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 high, it's high, but I would have to do like speed test.net to tell you exactly. Because okay, mine's close to three hundred now. Jesus yeah. it's Christ! It's, and it's I, I I have no problems at all. <laughs> no, but I I just the quality. The quality look garbage. The qual- yeah, well, it's two seven twenty p. I mean, come on now. I mean, seven twenty p looks like shit. And, 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 and the input that? lag is just garbage, yo. Like, what kind of connection is mine? Is Cox Cox <laughs> Cox communications with Cox communications with their highest package? Pay a hundred bucks a month for it. No, I mean, what is it? Is it a T four T one? Uh, I think it's a T one line. Okay, that makes sense. All right. All right. So I know Jack is very positive about this. So we're uh, gonna skip Jack. We're gonna skip no, Jack. No, well, I guess I'm saying. <laughs> All right, go Jack. Go ahead. Go At ahead. the end of the day, PlayStation Now, you are basically what PlayStation Now is. You're paying to remote play from a PlayStation, so you're still playing 
from a PlayStation. Damage you cannot, control. You cannot access these games <laughs> natively through a PC. So <laughs> it's it what it is. It's so, so, so Jack moved. You believe there's like a PlayStation hooked up to a man? And <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's what Sony said. That's what Sony said. No, no, no it's not what Sony server, said. Bro. It's a, basically that, a PC. That is bro. not what Sony it's said. Is nope, that, is, that is exactly what Sony said. No, no it, it definitely is. is. The guy yes, called services for PS Now is custom PS3s. It's a PC right bro. now. It's a it's server. It's a server. server, bro. It's a server. It's a bunch of PS4s and PS3s running a fucking remote play. Well, yeah, you think every remote <laughs> play is the same? Is the same technology that PS now uses? The same. It's a reason they run like shit. It's because it's fucking remote play. Like you can, you can like, run, you can run Uncharted Four right now on your PC. Is Uncharted Four? Uh, not exclusive. Do no, it. you can't. No, you can't. Yes, the remote, remote play. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. That okay, is not okay, remote, remote play. Not remote yeah. play. But you still need a PS4 for that. You have that. You need a PS4 to play PlayStation. Exactly. Now. But you need now you don't. Home. No, you don't. Yeah, you now is you are paid. Play. Listen, listen. Now is the same listen. thing like remote play. You know? No, it's not. You it's are not. Listen, you are paid. I got him. I got him. You get him. You get him. Wait, wait. It says right here. I want to. I want to address them. I'm digital foundry. The one everybody kind of loves to quote whenever it comes to their games. PlayStation foundry. It says. Sony has created spoke cloud servers based on PlayStation 3 hardware <laughs> capable Bro, of running any PC. game on the console's extensive library. It is not PlayStation not 3. PC. Okay, I got a PlayStation question. I got a question. 3 sitting there somewhere. I got a question. PC. I got a question. Space, what, you, could you PS3. imagine the room stacked what? up with PS3? Oh, 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 I got a question. I got a question. I got a question. I got a question. Sorry, go question. So, All right, go ahead. Go ahead, Jack. Okay, is it so is this is it a coincidence that when they patch SharePlay to do 720p 60 frames per second, they also patch PS now to do it? If it was not it's on, on it's probably listen, on the same cloud servers. But that's cool. But if it was not running on a PlayStation, shouldn't you be able to tweak your settings to uh make it better? Whole, okay, no, 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 what? Whenever it, you're okay, he said it says right there they have tricked the computer, the cloud servers to act as if it's a PS3. <laughs> bro, it's a PC you that is the so games are running off, bro. It's basically, it's basically, wait, 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 wait. you're basically emulating the games. So why yeah, can't you change accessing re- games through your PC? If why can you so change so resolution on other streaming services, but not this one? This oh, they will. They will be doing that with the they new uh, version that, that they're once releasing. Once they get the once they get the PS4 it's games still, running, bro, and we're getting more okay. people subscribing. Uh, you start seeing 1080p, 60 frames per second. No, they're, they're PS3s. They're PS3s acting as servers. It says it right here in this article. The link, click the link, please. That's what I'm saying. These are running off PlayStation console. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, okay. so 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 Jack. So wait, you expect us to believe that Sony has a warehouse stacked up from (laughs) Florida to to Florida? Listen, Listen, Rambo, 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 when you launch it. Yeah, Gaikai is a whole bunch of it, the server is racked up. Gaikai been around before Sony even bought them. If up. you get on PlayStation now, it is literally a PS3 UI. You, yeah. it is a fucking PS3 <laughs> being streamed to your house. It's Bro, the same thing as remote. It's a computer. It's a it's computer a, it's emulating a, a PS3. No, it, is, it is custom PS3s. They're doing. Oh my god! Bro, it's only been saying this shit for years. Click the article and read it. Read the article. Read the article. Okay, it says right here. It says right here. Okay, when I click on the article, it says. Uh, CES Las Vegas sources have who have been briefed on the project suggest that the new PlayStation 3 consists of eight custom console units built into a single rack server. It's a new PlayStation hardware. It's a, that's PlayStation now. It's play, it's eight PlayStation 3. Right, can, can, can I extract me the question real quick? Jack, when this PlayStation now thing comes to PC, I don't need a PlayStation, correct? Yep, no, you, you do, do need not. a PlayStation. Not not anymore. Anymore. Wow. You not need a PlayStation home. somewhere on earth to be oh running it. Yes, you do. Wait, 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 do you need to own a PlayStation in your house? No. no. Do you okay. need a PlayStation somewhere in, on Earth to be this running and that you're, okay, wait, and that wait, you're wait, paying wait, for monthly? Yes, you do. Sony wait, does, wait, but Jack move. Jack move. Earth, Jack move. I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask you this question. Okay. Whenever I, whenever I, I boot up the CMU emulator, <laughs> or when I boot up an oh, emulator yeah, on my PC, oh, it looks like I'm running it, running the actual native console. Okay. <laughs> Okay. So therefore, my my PC is actually tricked into say running, looking like an NES sometimes. 
Nah, you, you guys. So is my, is my, this is my, this wait, 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 or is it oh, still no, running in NES let me, let me say something. Hold on. I get, let me just make sure I'm going to say Jack. Oh, oh, yeah, let me put his word in there. Oh, so, Jack, I, I ain't going to lie. He, he do kind of got a point. I get what he's saying, but it's a little bit of a reach. But let me just make sure that's what he's saying. You're yeah. saying pretty much they're streaming a PS3 to your PC. Or PS4, yes. Okay. okay. Yeah, but I'm trying to it's explain. Eight, it's, that, eight, it's eight PS4s taped together, whatever the fuck they do. Right? <laughs> <laughs> whatever the fuck they got to get it I do. Uh, you know, they went towards the streaming route, you know, because oh at the time they thought that would be a greater ideal before, you know, EA Access and stuff happened. Once that they would have went EA Access way first and it was a downloadable thing, would it still be an exclusive? Don't Wait, kill me. Like? If it's EA, yeah, actually, you if you could download it, then I mean it's available on PC. I wouldn't Here, say that. If, if I don't no. need a PlayStation to no. play the it's, game, it's not it's not exclusive. It's yeah. If you game. could if you could download it on your PC, yes. Yeah. The difference it's is that with, too. Yeah. The, with, with, not, with, when, when did rent games become so popular? Now y'all hype about rent games, bro. Nobody hype. Jack. Jack. Just look, look, look. All of that shit is. Uh, look, we understand that the service is garbage. All that rent shit is all bullshit. We we know, but it's just irrelevant to the discussion at hand. That I'm just I'm just trying to figure out, or they not? No, it's, it's not. It's, it's, not, it's, it's still exclusive. It's, it's still exclusive. Irrelevant. Because at the end of the day, are you running the games natively look, on your PC? That's all we gotta say. That's all it we gotta don't say. matter. Look, look, look. No, but you're talking about the method listen, of access. Listen, wait, listen, wait, listen. wait, wait. No, I w just to go back to what Jay Barry said. <laughs> what I re I recall even you. I recall even you and Bang Bang. You oh, were no, you no, were no, wait no, listen no, wait 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 no, wait you finish, were, wait a minute you were not posting in there saying because I can run the games natively on my PC that I that you don't need an Xbox anymore you were saying I don't need an Xbox to play those games anymore I don't I don't okay, 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 wait 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 now you guys, now you guys are added natively to this wait, shit, I can buy I can buy the games on a store for on a PC but but now but you didn't say all that you the only thing you said is you didn't need the console now now all of a sudden you're adding different words oh my god can I ask questions hold on let me let me damage let me let me damage because a lot of people a lot of people would say I take what I what I say in bang bang seriously I don't what I say in bang bang is not seriously what I say in my YouTube two videos or, or Twitter or stuff like that, that is what you should take on from what I say. Jabari is the most trolling dude. Regardless of bang bang. No, I can go I can go to your videos and I I will never find anything but on your video thing. saying that you don't just that oh, no you can't yes you can but look though look though look look at it like this listen just listen to me real quick if no Xbox One or Xbox existed in the world you could still access the games that were made for that system natively on PC if no PlayStation 4 existed in the world you would not be able to do PlayStation now that's just a fact oh I'm my god that is a fact Jack you said that's natively <laughs> Jack you gotta play this back and listen to yourself homie bro <laughs> <laughs> this dude's pretty much so no listen I just said look no you did not you denied what I said I said if no Xbox existed, there are still stores on the PC where you could buy Xbox games and play them. If there was no PlayStation, you could not do that. There's okay, still wait, a service wait. that you can play. No, you it cannot PC. because it's coming through a fucking PlayStation. Okay, so hey, so guys, oh hey guys, guys, all the, all the all the PlayStation fours that like we sent back to Sony. Now we know what happened. To them. <laughs> yeah, they use refurbished fucking systems. Hey, put hey, they, they got a whole warehouse. All right, yo, we, up yo, we haven't heard. You ever heard anything from the gaming god in a while? So, <laughs> yo, BG, what do you think about all of this shit? Exclusive or multiple? You've been dodging us a little, BG. What's up, man? I, like I said, I think it's um like exclusive with a technicality. Um, yeah, I agree with that. It's technicality <laughs> because we've never encountered like a situation like this before. Like before. The the definition we always had was if it's on another um, platform that it's not exclusive, which I don't agree, which I don't disagree with. But then it brings up, bro. You niggas used to say that shit the most. That's why I was listening. Oh, yeah. <laughs> real quick, real quick, real quick. I, I don't I was surprised. That. That's why I was so surprised I was when Hard Eight was saying like, "Yo, yo," he used to say that shit the most <laughs> too. Yeah, about if it's on multiple platforms, it's multiply. But now well, I'm I'm saying, I don't disagree shit. with that. I don't disagree with that. But then. The problem is the problem is then we realize you have to come up with there's there's other stipulations that people come up with right because then people brought up the argument of emulators right and emulators well they said that's not legal that's not from the company mm -hmm. but you got to get it as if if you're going to say bring up the stipulation that uh you know with the with PS now that that counts well technically 
emulators, whether illegal or not, because it was never, it was never, if it's on another platform legally, that was never said. Yeah, that's no. what you guys never said that. So that's what I was trying to get. That's what I was on Twitter. I've even, said, I've even right, said emulate. Right definition, yo. I I'm even get the right definition. Breath of the, breath of the Wild. I mean, no game is, uh, no game is an exclusive thing. Breath, any of, the, breath of the Wild. Yeah, Breath of the Wild is not exclusive because I can play it on the CMU. So that's yeah, that what was an exclusive from the jump because it's on Wii U. It was not, yeah, it was never exclusive anyway. Well, but but, yeah, it's, but see, it's not even a Nintendo exclusive. Okay, so, so let me I, let me guess actually something else too because it this brings up a lot of t discussion. That's what I'm saying. Like everyone has their own definition of what a true exclusive is because like I like how you just said was Zelda Breath of the Wild the example. The fact that it's on two Nintendo platforms. All right, let's just forget about the emulator emulated shitty version right now. Right, but. So for for example, a game like Forza Horizon Two, it's on Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty and Xbox One. Is that game exclusive or multiple? I would say I would say it's an I would say it's an Xbox exclusive, not Xbox One or Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. I would say it's an Xbox exclusive. Yeah, like I I consider those type of games exclusive. Like The Last of Us is on PS Three and PS Four. That's an exclusive. That's like, exclu you still say that's exclusive. exclusive. Like so, so yeah. that, that means there's levels to exclusive. Yeah, yeah so that, that means that there's yeah. levels to this. So every time you guys are being like, oh, it's only if it's only over here, that means it's exclusive. So you guys are all bullshit every time you guys be but saying see, that. I, 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 and and be saying it is an area of concern. I mean, let, let's be real here. Hardake <laughs> was trying to say just because he could play it on PC. Okay, just because it's illegally able to be played on PC do not yeah, yeah. does not mean it's multiplayer. Yeah, because I yeah yeah re rearranging now. Because look, so, you guys are reaching like a yeah, motherfucker. A lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of rearranging is going on. I've noticed ever since nah, the news came up. Talk, we're up this topic. Though, it's not, I, not I, rearranging I, or reaching. It is the fact we just gave you the fact of what, what? PS now is and how is this is running. It is running off. Of don't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, but it's being accessed on another platform. Look, if you don't have the PS4, the PS3, you cannot access PS4. And who don't have it? Sony? I don't know. That's a big ass reach. That's a big ass reach. That's a reach. Has answer this question. It is now running natively on the PC. We know that already. Right yes, yeah, no, we know that, but that's that's, that's no, no, irrelevant no, no, to the no, now, I, now I know why my upload speed has like it. gone up because it's like people are uploading shit for my thing, running my PS now. They're PS now. <laughs> is it, is it maybe on a PC? Yes or no? The game? No, no. no. All right, where is it? Where is it running from? I'll uh, say the Sony server. Place uh, Sony server. Hey, done. Conversation is it? I'm not, I'm not the conversation. How? How? You, How? It, it's running off Sony servers, and we understand through this article what are the servers. Okay, Jay, 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 no, oh, no, we gotta go into that conversation. That's the same thing. You can download it to your PC. No, hold on, hold on. That, that that is is what, what service are you that playing it on? No, that is legitimately no. the same thing. It's on Windows it is, 10 it and it runs off Xbox Live. Same, That's the same not conversation. The same, not the same thing. Without it's Windows 10, you yeah, can't play look, it. Listen, 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 listen to this real quick. Because you guys put um stipulations that one Xbox yeah, that's a major stuff. Play, you guys used to say that um when they used to say yo it's windows 10 exclusive this that that you guys used to be like nah that's still pc but yo how can you yep. guys put some talking about native though yep, yep. Oh, so native is a new thing now no no because it's oh not it does, you do not right, need, right. look, you're not running on a pc can, can i this is the here. point this is the point you I'm need a playstation so new words it's so now. accessible it's so you accessible can, without no, okay okay that's not the point no 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 you don't need a PlayStation. Sony needs a PlayStation for you to. You need Sony, so you cannot play PlayStation now without a PlayStation. I don't need Microsoft to put a game on the Windows 10 store. So I don't need Microsoft to put a game on the Windows 10 store. Y'all not understand it, bro. You need Microsoft. That's a reach, man. If I'm on PC, what Jack is saying. What Jack is saying is a little bit of a reach. This thing is going down. Listen, listen, listen. A little bit. It's a, it's a reach, Jack. Okay, okay, okay. Let me ask reach. you this. Let me ask you this. To play Wait, Gears on PC, do you, you need an Xbox on somewhere? No, you do not. Listen, what, <laughs> my nigga, you need Microsoft. You need Microsoft. Access the game with you you need Microsoft. PlayStation. Because without you Microsoft, Microsoft, they wouldn't put the game on the Windows 10 store. Yeah, do you, you are Microsoft? not listening to what I'm saying, bro. What you and Jabari are doing are going down. The fucking Sony family tree. <laughs> it's, fucking, it's running off a of PS4. You need yeah, a PlayStation, yeah, but you don't need no. it as a Sony. gamer. You don't need you it. You need Sony. That's all. Hey, uh, what and the Sony? And what the Sony? And what the Sony? I guess. Well, guess the what? Piece. 
They need to. They need their PlayStation Four runners on board. No PS Four to run it. That's exactly. That's all we said. We not arguing nah, with you. That's all we said. We're saying we're saying the problem is this. It isn't just that you need. Yeah, 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 Alex. What you said? So the problem is that you that you you need, you need a PS4. The problem is that just like I was hearing before, I think Rambo was saying it. Most Sony dev kits are just basically PCs. Yes. Like it doesn't yep. really matter. Yeah, it's, it's a, a server PC. somewhere. It's so regardless server. of whether you need a PS4 specifically, you kind of really don't because you just need a box that has some components in there, or they can just put that in there from anyways. And anyways, a PS4 is x86 architecture. It's practically a PC anyways. So there really isn't any difference between modern consoles now and PCs. That's true. So when you're looking at something like that, it doesn't really matter. You just need their server. Yo, my and nigga Jack still an exclusive. Like if, yo. My nigga Jack thinks it's like a PS4, like taped up or in a in a box. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm just going off what Sony told me. You know what I mean? You think it's like a PlayStation? Who I'm going to listen to? Six months of niggas on the podcast. There's like twelve people talking. Listen, okay. So, so the thing is, when you're when you're doing something like that, these consoles are just basically stripped down PCs. It's all they are. There's no difference between them and the PC right now, except for the operating system, and and that's probably possibly about it. So when you're looking at something like this, you don't even really need a specific console to stream from. You're still playing an exclusive because you're paying Sony to play the game. That's the difference. No, you're still paying Microsoft no, to play the game. Yeah. So you pay, still okay. have an exclusive there. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't see. I don't see how that that aspect works. How PlayStation now is exclusive because you're paying them. Because aren't I paying Microsoft when I cop the game off off their store? I'm paying them as well. So I, I don't understand where that. How that so you're saying you're saying you you're saying Microsoft only loses exclusivity whenever they put it on Steam. Agreed. I would say so. I, yeah, I, I don't think so. If so, I don't, so that's if I'm I don't saying, but the, the, the difference is is that what what you have to understand too, especially with Microsoft, is that they're using the Windows 10 platform as something far greater than just a console. It doesn't. Setup. It doesn't matter though. It doesn't matter. Like the thing is, is, if I don't need that box inside my house to play those games that are on that box, it's then on it's not an exclusive. Yeah, it's the think, think about it. Think about it in terms like this. How many? Let's say there's what 20, 50, 30, 40, 50 million Xboxes out there. I don't know. I'm just throwing right. a number out there. I'm probably gonna say like twenty. 20 million, uh, 20 yeah. million Xboxes, right? 15. <laughs> how many like, Windows 10 users? <laughs> how many Windows 10 users? Yeah, how many Windows 10 users? <laughs> oh, Jesus, man. Like, uh, <laughs> I think like three, uh, 700 million or something like that. Like, so, no, so, so if I was Microsoft and I came to you and I said, you're a developer. And I said, look, if you put it on the Windows platform, okay, not just Xbox, but the Windows platform, you have 20 million Xbox users and 700 million Windows 10 users that you could reach your game to. Who do you want to put your game on? Yeah, potential. For sure. Yo. That's, oh, yeah. why, that's why they're doing yeah. that. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, and that's, no, and that's why they're doing that. The thing no, is, I, okay, listen, to... nobody's nobody's not uh, nobody's arguing there's not a difference between like the Windows 10 store and PS Now. The so thing even... is, though, with the term the term of exclu exclusivity is do I need their box to play that game? No. Nope. That's the end of discussion right there. That's the bro. end of it. I don't need that box. I don't give a shit about all the ins and outs of what makes yeah, things so, better and well, what everything else. I just don't need yeah. that box in my house to play it. Yeah, so you just feel funny. that the gate yeah. of the box is what well, really yeah. makes it exclusive. Yes, when, whenever I go into that store, whenever I go into like Walmart and I and I look at that shelf and I go, man, that's Uncharted Four. I, I really want to play that. Oh, there's a PS4. Oh shit, I don't need that. I can go home and play it. I'm not. I'm. I, I, it's not exclusive anymore. Yeah, because yeah, if it was exclusive, then you would need to. Cop I would the have to pick up that PS4. To play I would it. have to pick up that PS4. That's facts. How's this yep. like the baby? <laughs> it's not that damn difficult. Because y'all don't, don't, y'all don't want to admit it because it hurts y'all somehow and y'all's yeah, little yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, stuff like this. Yo, Rambo's a PlayStation I, man too, and you understand? I, I'm a heavy, I'm a heavy duty PlayStation man. You understand? So the thing with that is when definition of what PS now is. It's it doesn't matter what the definition is. The, defi the, the definition of a multi-platform is: Can I play the game on more than one platform? Yes. Done. Mic drop. I think um, <laughs> it's done. It doesn't matter what your little, your little right? Look, you know what? Will would Rwanda be a better place if we had? Uh, European settlers from the north eastern port, parts of Ireland, maybe what? so. Yes, but see, you oh, know what? So, uh, so, so guess what? You know what I'm saying? You you can you can work away a different definition to everything you want. The simple fact is, multi-platform. Can you play the game on more than one platform? Yes, done. Okay. I think so. With so even so, then with that concept and games moving to a streaming service, what happens then? Because it's going to come to a point where you're not going to have a box anymore. 
You know that, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah, it's going yeah, to so, that's 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 so then, so then with that logic, with that logic, Microsoft, if it's hold on, with that logic, and we know we're not going to have consoles anymore, right? It's going to be all streaming, right? So then, would that still be part of if you're part of this network, then you are exclusive to that network? Guess what? You know what would no. happen? Exclusive that's the good. services will have exclusives. That's what would happen. Yeah, yeah, it would, yeah the services so, would so be then, more. So then exclusive. the services would have exclusives, the right? So if there is an exclusive on that, so hold on, if there is an exclusive on that service. And I also have it with the box. The only the only argument you have is that the only reason that it's an exclusive is because of the box. But once the box is gone, and we are okay. going to move towards that, wouldn't that still be be an exclusive for the network then? Because then it doesn't yeah. change. It's still the well, same. Then, okay, but then we're looking at it. You play the game. You're still part of that not, network. Then we're not looking. But then we're not look. Okay. We have then at that point the multi the, the actual definition actually has to evolve. It has to change. Yeah. Then yeah. we don't yeah. actually have platforms. Whenever we're talking platforms, we're talking actual hardware. We're not talking networks. Yeah, he's right. Uh, he's wait, right. no, because wouldn't Steam be a platform as well? Steam is a platform. Steam is yeah. a platform, though. Steam is not a so network. Guess what? Steam, also, guess guess what? what? There's even between that. Steam and Origin, doesn't Origin not have exclusives that you games that you can't play on Steam? Yes, yeah. Yeah. yes, it does. Yeah. Yeah, so it's the so same example. That that's yeah. why this boggles my mind that you think this is an exclusive that it's not an because, exclusive anymore. Okay, but the thing is, because these are services now. It's okay, no longer yeah, on so yeah, so yes, PC, on yeah. PC, on PC they are a service. The thing is, what I'm saying though is that the definition of a multi-platform, the the word platform that we're in in our definition as gamers, is actual pieces of hardware. The PC, the actual hardware. The con the PS4, the actual hardware, the Xbox One, the actual hardware, the Nintendo console, the actual hardware, whatever that the whatever one you want to talk about. Whenever that thing actually changes over to a service like the PC, like the Xbox One's doing with this Game Pass, I see that that thing's gonna grow to a bit to to evolve to what you're talking about. Yeah. I see the PlayStation Now is going to evolve to what you're talking about. Then we will have to actually start looking at it like we look at the say Steam Origin you play type thing. Then we will have to actually start branching out into what, which you know, which each service services, offers. yeah, which service the, the yeah, definition yeah. of multi-platform will actually yeah. have to evolve. Right. The thing is, I'm thinking ahead. Yes, you I'm are thinking, thinking ahead. You are ahead. You are correct in that. But as of right now, it is a multi-platform. Mm -hmm. I, 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 but the thing is, I honestly, I, I see your point of view. I, I just cannot agree wholeheartedly. Unfortunately, that's, not, that's fine. Just, that's fine. It's just that's such fine. a a. It's to me. It's even though you're playing it on a. The, I'm playing with a keyboard and mouse. I'm still paying that money to Sony, and I'm still I, on that service. Uh, so it just I, seems 60, strange to me. I think it's 60-40 in favor of being a multi-plat. It's just not the um, same, nowhere near the same impact. Is that, that, is that, it's definitely not the same. It's, it's definitely, definitely not the same, same. impact. Because if you look at if you look at Microsoft's games, if you want to, if you want, like say Gears Four, the better version of Gears Four is it's always going to be on the PC. Yeah, if you're sure. gonna, if you yeah. want to play Uncharted Four, the better version is always going to be on yeah, PS4. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So there we there we have it, yo. There we have it, yeah. <laughs> right, there you have it, still exclusive. <laughs> oh I told you Jack and Jay Barry went to the family tree, my nigga. Yeah, yeah. they went in on that. Bro. I'm, I'm going, going, hey, going to technical hey, hey, Barry, next time next time you actually you and you and uh, Jack move, next time y'all go down to Sony or whatever, like I want I want y'all to take a picture of these damn eight little PS3s taped together. I guess. That are magically running, <laughs> magically running sixty million users. I'm just going off of what Sony is. I know, bro, but I, man, yo, it plays like not get that many users. Yo, well, just, 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 you know what I mean? Up, so just search up a picture of a server room. You, got, you guys, that's what PlayStation now probably is. That is exactly they legit, but they came out. It, it is right. Just search. Just Google, Google behind, server room. You know, you know what I'm saying? The Google definition of a server room. The, how the server is there? How everything is right here in this article. You guys like? Oh my god. Okay, but Jay, Jay, I don't need it. Jay Barry, here's the part that you're not understanding about the article because apparently maybe maybe you're not understanding like what the server room is. Whenever I, whenever I say I can I can take like say we have eight PCs hooked up in this room. That's basically just a server room. It's not. I, I didn't take eight towers in there and stick them together and tie zip tie them together. Yeah, that's actually a server room, a server room. Not a gigantic computer running eight it's different. A, yeah, computers. it's a it's running it off a computer. 100%. Now what? Now what ends up happening with this is he took he took the in the inner workings the cell processing of a of eight PS3. And made a big gigantic server out of it. They made a rack. That's one rack. Yes. Out of one out of rack, it. and that's a, it's a, that's an actual that's an actual PC at that point. It is not a PS3. It's just running PS3 architecture. It's just Shit. running. P, it's just running the actual PS3 uh, so, UI. So, so what do you have to say about that, Jack? 
I mean, I it's still running through a fucking PS3, <laughs> or PS4. That, that's what I'm saying. Like, like, but but by what you say, by what you say, first of all, consoles are shitty computers anyway. So like, yeah, well, I, not, I'm not, not a PS4, the PC. We just it's talking the about the we talking about the cases. But if you talking about the inner workers, it's still the inner workers of a PS3 and a PS4. Like, yeah. Exactly. If you don't have that, you cannot play PlayStation now. Simple as oh that. My gosh. A oh my PS4 God. is not a is not a PS4. <laughs> a PS4. Oh my God. Oh my God, y'all. Honestly, this news has. They are we talking to like? Hey, oh, can somebody? Hey. Can somebody? Can somebody know, please? Can, can somebody please draw J- Jay Barry and Jack Move a new icon that was like Mr. Stretch? <laughs> that's, oh, not, that's not a stretch. I don't. I don't think. I don't think I'm stretch. I'm just giving you what it is. You do not need a server to play fucking Xbox um games on PC. Yeah, but you play let's, let's get the chat involved a little bit. Yo, chat. What do you guys think? PlayStation Now. If what PlayStation Four game games go there eventually, you know, are they exclusive or multiplat? So I just want you. I just want to see you guys write exclusive or multiplat. So, is remote playing exclusive or multiplat? <laughs> if that's the case, if that's the case, hey, that's case Horizon multiplayer because I played it through the Vita remote play. Like, yeah. oh man, that's I that's played. such a silly argument. Like, right, what a stupid. I remote, I remote play Eliza to my to my Mac. It's not, it's not. It's remote. It's it's, remote, it's, it's <laughs> fucking remote play. Like, like y'all not gathering. Yeah, but that means that means I could I could play PlayStation on my Galaxy Note. You can go oh, ahead. Awesome. So that means PlayStation never had exclusives then. Okay then, well, that's what that's what it is. So you still uh, making the same point? No. And I also, also want to point out. I also want to point out. <laughs> I have ne- you can never find anything on the internet of me saying that Microsoft does not have exclusive games at all. You can never f- you can never find that. Thanks. Yo, Jack, yeah, you dedicated. You you proved you the commissioner, my brother. Hey man, it's, <laughs> it's it's remote play. If y'all don't want to see that, then cool. You're in you're remote play. You're definitely representing that commissioner, man. Hey man, you remote play, man. Did. That's what y'all want to do, man. Uh, Put it down. Uh, yo, yeah, yeah, that's what's the beauty of that's the beauty of it. Only better you better get that man, Jack. We, we, we all got we all got a different opinion. So I, I I think I think with this, what we need to do is figure out what the fuck exclusive actually means. Mm. That's what, that's what we're anything. trying to break down here. That's Somebody said the word exclusive means it excludes a certain platform. So if that's the case, everything is a fucking exclusive because everything is <laughs> yep. something else. Well, that's why these companies can use the terms time. Exactly. That's what it is. Exactly. Now, technically, if you can use an argument hard, you have the right argument. Nothing's exclusive. Right. Exclusive. Well, that's what it is. This shit. Area all of right. the terms. I just want it to be I all think, one way, either nothing exclusive or anything exclusive. I, I, think, <laughs> I think that what we're going to end up having to do is actually just come to the terms that we, we got to quit worrying so much about what's exclusive and what's not because eventually it's going to get to the point where everybody's going to play dude, everything. My dude, yo, Jay Barry had a mental breakdown on Twitter, yo. Like, Jay Barry, don't come here and lie, bro, that you worry. Like, yo, I, I have to tweet no, 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 no. like, yo, so do yo, this is a bad move. You're like, go ahead. You're no, like, I, I think it is a bad move because at the end of the this is why I, I've been I've been supporting this service since day one, and since day one they promised PS1 and PS2 games. You are trying to complex the service with PS4 games, knowing that this thing is going to dwindle how the, the fidelity of a PS4 look. But here you have the accessibility to to to, to promote or uh, produce the PS1 and PS2 games, and we ain't see it yet. That's what. That's my biggest yeah, I, concern. I actually, here. I actually, I, I actually, I, they should have definitely added PS One and PS Two before they added PS Four. Right. I think once they do add that, though, like it'll be a more compelling service. I think, well, I think so too. Then, it's honestly <laughs> to me right now, when you look at it, that service is nothing but good for the consumer in 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 the long term because what you have is. You God, have, they just have to up the quality, man. Can, can yeah, I say something that's going to be that, um, that, but, but Think about it this way. Think about it this way. If you <laughs> 20 bucks a month, right? So that's 60 bucks every three months. That's the price of one game every three months. You have access to all these games that you're playing, paying $20 a month. So after three months, you can play tons of games and pay the price of one game. I'm not. It's a hell of a service to somebody that does not have the money to go out and buy What's a console. Up? What's up, Jack? It's fantastic. Um, I'm just going to say this, and I, I doubt anybody in here agree with me. By this time, <laughs> ma- by March 20th, 2019, PlayStation that will no longer exist. I'm going to put that out there. <laughs> no, but they already, said that. they already said they're getting rid of it. Okay, they no, they're going to no. get rid of it because people no, are not supporting it. They're getting they're rid of it. They're going to a new version no. to combat the, the No, home. they're... No, they're they're only getting rid of it on the TVs. Yeah, I'm talking. No, I'm talking about overall. I think it's going to be No, 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 no. They're keeping it on the PC. No, no, no. They are getting rid of PS now. Listen, listen. Xbox Scorpio is going to have a streaming service that streams 4K 60. They are getting rid of. Listen, can I speak? No way. Can y'all? Can I speak? Can I speak? I know this for a fact. 
They are getting rid of PS Now and bringing a new service out to combat the new service that Xbox is getting ready to release with the Scorpio. It's going to be 4K streaming games on both platforms. Man, I swear you heard this. For 4K? Okay, 4K oh, streaming? I'll say where I heard this from. I heard this from Hip Hop Game. Oh. All right, so. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> oh my God. Now, PS Now can already stream games at 60, but 4K, yeah. I don't know about you that. Might, yeah, that's going to be hard to do, bro. You yeah, might well, you put- have... You I'm might sorry, as well have heard the shit from a potato, man. <laughs> oh my god! Right. He's, he's so when you're looking at something oh, like man. 4K streaming, it it works for things like Netflix because it's it's not as as bad. The it's the same thing. thing. What, what you no, but what you have is you have the problem of America's internet structure, and it's not built for something that big or that demanding. No, it's the it's same thing as streaming um Netflix. What are you talking about? It really isn't. It is the same. Isn't going it down. is the same. One at a time. One at a time. I don't understand streaming. The only difference would be the latency. That would be the only difference. The quality yeah, would still be the same. Yeah, because the streaming, the streaming right now for Netflix and for uh, PS Now is the minimum required is five megabytes. The exact same. Yeah, but that's for um, that's for 1080p. Yeah, for yeah but that's for yeah, yeah that's for 1080p yeah, yeah. or whatever. But 4K, whenever you get up there, it's just going to be the exact same thing. It's the exact same amount of amount of requirement. But that when you start streaming 4K, you're getting into in the America side of it. You're getting up to needing a hell of a lot of speed to be able to yeah. keep. To Netflix keep the is already going. doing it. Netflix is. What are y'all talking? I'm not about? saying, no, I'm not saying it's like it's like this huge. I'm not saying Netflix. Ain't, I'm not it's saying not Netflix big, is doing. Oh my god! I'm not saying Netflix ain't doing it, but not not every person that watches Netflix is a fucking gamer. We're talking about the service, though. We're not talking. He's, about he's saying he's saying people in there already capable. No, it's capable. No, I'm just saying it's capable, capable of yeah, being I'm done. Saying, I'm just saying that does the right. game do the gamers out there actually have the internet to support it? And not only that, when you're looking at it, like I live in a place where I already have data caps. Most listen, and if I, you're and downloading, I can, and I can only games, imagine what it's going to do when I start trying to stream a 4K, 4K. game. Well, look, if you're downloading digital games, if you're downloading digital games, you will be able to stream those games as well. And that, oh man, I'm playing Legacy of Kane's Soul Reaver. What am I downloading? <laughs> no, if you're downloading <laughs> generation games, you should be able to handle it. Mm-hmm. What are you guys not downloading games? A lot, everybody here should be downloading games. Yeah, I'm downloading. I'm downloading games, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So you'll be able to handle it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So, you know, this is definitely an interesting topic. And I guess we're going to discuss this as, like, more details and, you know, when the games actually drop. I guess this is an ongoing discussion, you know what I'm saying? Because people have different views on it, you know what I'm saying? So... Um, it was a good t- um, discussion. I want to end off the podcast with one more topic about Colin from Kind of Funny. So, Jack, move you follow Col- Kind of Funny more than I do. So, y- you want to talk about this whole scenario about Colin real quick? Um, about him starting the Patreon and him leaving. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna talk about that too. So, <laughs> so like, about, about just the overall scenario, what happened? You know, uh, well, Col- Colin's an outspoken uh, person, and uh, he made a joke on Twitter about a week ago. That, on National Women's Day, and the, the tweet was something like, um, peace and quiet, hashtag a day without women. And, uh, <laughs> his, biz, his business partners wasn't really, you know, his friends of decades, they they basically, they um they shunned him in fucking media, and he wasn't feeling it, so he decided that would be best for everybody, because he can't speak freely like he wants to without representing kind of funny, so he thought it would be best if he broke away from them, so he ended up leaving. So that's what happened. Oh, okay. All right. So, yeah, I read that tweet that, you know, set, you know, the SWJs off and or SJWs or whatever off. And it was and it wasn't like nothing. You know what I'm saying? I read that tweet. and It was like nothing to me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So BGO, <laughs> what do you what do you think about the whole, you know, scenario? I mean, uh, I mean that's the thing where you, when you work for a established company and that they that they've made, uh, you have to be unfortunately unfortunately careful about the things you say because you're an actual company now. That's the problem with it. If they were, if, and you know, they they were one of those companies that, you know, they, that they 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 put themselves in a certain professional and respectful light. Like if Weapon Will to, were to ever become a bigger company, I wouldn't have to worry about none of that shit. Because you blew up on that, you blew up on the on the you know. Yeah, that's what that's what we grew up. That's yeah. how that's how it was exactly. like, it's like. You know, it, it's like um, I guess how Jerry Springer started out. Like nobody expects it to, to be like Oprah because that's how it blew up off. Of. But yeah, they blew, blew up, up yeah. off of being like a Jerry Springer show, so they gotta they gotta you know 
there's a plus to it that they get the type of support they get because of how they conduct themselves. But there's also you're held by like a tight string by your audience that, you know, pays you. So, I mean, it, it, it is what it is. So they had to do that to be professional. But I don't think he, they had to like, um, I guess, throw them under the bus in that way. I, like Not Greg the whole public said, thing, man. Greg yeah, the public, the public thing looked bad. My bad. Greg could have just said my bad. Colin could have just said my bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's it. Yeah, yeah. All that, or not even that. Just been like it's a joke, <laughs> right? Yeah, that's all you need to deal say. with it. It's a joke. Like, what, <laughs> what are you complaining about? Like, oh, you're Roll upset. Up. Okay, so what? Get over it. I'm <laughs> sorry if you want to. You know, I mean, yeah. you know, like like PewDiePie. Like, I can make any joke he wants. It doesn't matter anymore. <clears throat> yeah, he's free. You, he can make any should, joke yeah. he wants. You should be yeah. able to make any joke you want. And, and you know, like there are people that make really bad jokes, like Amy Schumer, and there are people that make really good jokes. <laughs> you know, like like, <laughs> like Dave Attell. But when you're looking at something like that, it wasn't even a bad joke. It was actually a really good joke. I mean, that's kind of funny. It's like it's not. Like, yeah, it's not it's even. Not uh, it's an old joke, though. It's, it's not a, that, it's nothing not new. A dad joke. It's, it's like nothing new. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I th- I th- I'm just afraid that all, all these newer age women that were, you know, in there were just had never really maybe experienced it because it was an older, like it was an, like our generation type joke. Yeah, it was mostly men. Uh, I've seen like men getting mad at this crap. You know? oh, like, it's 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 the, young, the younger men. Yeah. The Let's younger men now are, the younger men are now like, like, I don't know. I'm not, they've never they're basically women yeah. with dicks, man. That's yes. Yes. Are. Thank you. Okay. There, I was, I was, I was, <laughs> yes. Yes. You are correct. Uh, or, or they're trying to like white knight and try to get laid yes. by those tracks. I just found Facts. it weird though a little bit because like, if you watch kind of funny, like I watch a lot of their content. And a lot of times they make a lot of like racial jokes Bro. and minority jokes. Like sometimes they'll even be like, oh, um, Kevin, who's like one of the uh, minority guys that works there. They'll be like, oh, Kevin, can I get a minority report on that joke? And stuff like that. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, yeah. And it's funny, you know what I'm saying? It's joke, you know what I'm saying? But then they came out and they were, you know, kind of like bashing Colin for his joke. Because... Because okay, well, listen. Uh, the thing is, though, is that whenever they're watching, you're watching that show, you're kind of expecting that. But, but also, their when, fans are expecting what Colin is. Like you watch, they, Colin, they should. You know they should. Yes, they should. But what happens was that I, he, I don't he think spoke the fans out. got mad. His fans probably didn't get mad. Well, some of fans get mad. Some people on social media. Yeah, some of his fans, the female fans, got mad at him. Oh yeah. yeah but what happened? Because Colin, I mean, sorry to cut you off. No, it just no, it just the the whole the whole woman thing. It was on. They said it was done on a bad day or whatever. But I mean, it was. These, I don't know, the femi- is that feminism taken too far? Hmm. Like, because Colin knows yeah. how to trigger, he knows how to trigger people. Yeah, he, knows that's all he, was, he was trolling, he was and, having a good time. Right. Yeah, but everyone could tell it's like not serious. I read that too, then instantly I, knew it was not, it's like it's a joke, you know. Yeah, I, just kinda, I just kind of chuckled and moved along, yeah. right? Because I expect that from Colin. Like, I was like, oh, look at Colin, like, you know, he he, he does this kind of stuff, yeah. and it just it, it blew me away when he uh. When uh, Greg came back with that response, because just a few days ago they were talking about how um, Horizon Zero Dawn, some people wrote articles about how yep. they didn't like the way the wording was for they call like people braves and savages. And Greg actually said like, "Well, I'm happy we do what we do because we can say what we want if we do exactly." <laughs> wasn't wasn't exactly. that the point that they left IGN? So yeah, they yeah, could exactly. Be free? Exactly. Yeah, but y'all not understanding that messes with advertisement money when you start going out in public. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. yeah. why he left. That's why. Yo, he left. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's, that's yeah. Real the reason talk. that was a big. When deal. the money, when the money gets involved, bro, this is what happens. It changes everything. When money, when money gets involved, yo, this is what happens with things. And that's why I'm that's disappointed. That's why I'm like BG right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I was disappointed. Yo, BG gotta be careful, bro. BG gotta be careful, bro. Cause yo, when money get involved, yo, then shit always moves weird, bro. Like, yo. Nah, here's the thing. We already experienced that. Like, oh, behind, yeah. it's already been it's already been a problem. But it, we, it, the reason why it's not a problem, it, it's not like this huge problem for us with the Patreon is because we argued before the money. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That is true. You can't go wrong on that. You part. know what I'm saying? Because look, yo, you got a group, you know, and yo, that's that's how that's how I see like how I see things crumble, yo. Because when when money gets involved with things like this, you know what I'm saying? Like. It, it definitely happens, yo. Like, yo, it definitely happens. All right, but yo, Jack Move, why don't you enlighten us on what Colin's doing now and how blessed he is now, yo? Um, <clears throat> speaking of money, um, that little joke that Colin made that a lot of people said in poor taste, it actually made him one of the wealthiest comedians in America, man, because uh, he <laughs> launched his own platform, um, Colin's Last Stand, where he's going to be covering political and um, historical things, and he's going to show them how they tie together and how they relate to, you know, today's society. He launched his own Patreon, and 
And last time I checked, I believe it was over thirty-one thousand dollars. He just started this Patreon today, bro. This morning. He already got this morning thirty-one thousand. Just for reference, kind of funny. Um, and kind of funny games we got two Patreons combined. What the fuck you watching the news? You watching CNN, bro? Okay. He's trying to be kind of kind of funny. Two Patreons combined is like forty-four, forty-four thousand right now. Colin by himself. Has like thirty one, thirty two thousand dollars. Well, it shows, oh, he, it shows you who has the who had the following over it. Kind yeah, of yeah, pretty much. Yep. Pretty much. <laughs> I, nah, I, think, I think he gained new following because of the. Oh, he did. The political well, no, he absolutely. Did. He did. He because he get he gained like say like the I'm not uh, like the Sargon of a Cod. I'm not saying that he he supports him or anything like that. But you know the the political channels on YouTube and stuff. Yeah. He probably gained a lot of those people too. Yeah, because yeah, like, the Ruben look. Report and uh, Glenn Beck. And yeah. Shit like so so I mean, just, he, yeah, he just gained, because someone stands up like that, they will go ahead and start following that person yep. yeah he gained, he gained a whole lot of i yeah. applaud him i applaud him here's the thing with colin he made a really shitty video about how gamers are entitled about mass effect 3's ending a while ago and i i, I shat on him for that and he blocked me on twitter which is awesome um <laughs> but no real talk no real talk no but here's the writing, the writing was on a wall with colin for a very long time yeah so he so he, he, was, a he was not someone that i was very fond of in the gaming community but that being said, just because I don't like what you have to say doesn't mean I'm going to stop you from saying it. Yep, exactly. And 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 I think that he said what he wanted to say. He made a joke, and now people are going to be like, "All right, we're going to follow you for it." So that's why he left. Best of luck to him. Impressed. And what he got to say? Me? Yeah, he got the he got the right. Uh, you know. Uh, he's yeah, got the, I, I feel you. Uh, appearance yep, yep, yep. <laughs> to get that type of support. Definitely got it. No. Oh, my but I mean, God. I mean, he no, he no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, yo, God, hold on, no, hold on real quick, man. yo, you, yo, you guys really want to go to overtime? Nah, 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 I'm going to go to overtime. Oh yeah, 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 and then Jay Man got to go to Brooklyn. We're going, we're going, we're going to save it. We're going to save that for next episode oh, bring me back on that this one just, yeah this is gonna go insane if we start talking about that <laughs> you already know what bg's trying to go at and jay there ain't no go to argument. I, I don't know what there is <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't start it bg don't even start it yeah oh, all right yo you can I'll do that on the weapon wheel what's up yeah mm -hmm. la, la, yeah you can do our weapon wheel as well i'll, I'll definitely I'll, I'll gladly come on there and i'll definitely tune in for that too um what's it called real quick mass effect before we get off anyone tried it oh nope. yeah i played a couple hours of it <laughs> what do you think <laughs> Um, so far, I mean, everything you see about the animations and um, the voice acting, I mean, a lot of it is what you see, but it hasn't taken me out of the experience yet. So far, it's actually not that bad, eh? Yeah, it's actually, actually really like the, the story. The, the, it's not bad, though. I'm bad. Kofi's Canadian <laughs> coming out. It's not that bad, eh? It's not that bad, eh? <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. my first Mass Effect, so, I mean, I got to play more. Damn, yeah, yeah, you missed all three? What? All three. Yeah, man. One and two are really good. Three shit. Yeah, I choose I, not I to. I disagree. Buy. Two and three are good. I hated one. Yeah, two and three is good. I didn't play one. No, I hate. BG, you're gonna give that. BG, you're gonna give that game a chance. I like a month from now. Yeah, I don't think. Oh, I'm look, look, look here's the thing. Here's the thing with um Mass Effect. People need to know. You gotta play that game for like ten hours to really get into it. Ten. Yeah, yeah you gotta play it for like a good ten hours before more it than that. Up. No, I'm talking about before it starts picking up and getting good. Oh, okay. Yo, that's people EA access time. Yeah, but I won't. <laughs> well, I think that's why they did that. The game cuts off when you get to a certain planet anyway on EA access. When it comes to that game, though, I won't pick it. Even, even though I have, I buy every single PlayStation game. If you like Mass Effect 1, you should like I will, the drama. I will be buying that game completely you, so that way the Bioware does not see a dime of my money. Damn. Because yeah. they supported Manver Huer. Yeah, mm, he's actually, a, I, I made a video about this. They guy. actually had he's, the nerve. They actually had the nerve after that woman got harassed on in on the thing, talking about how they did not put up with harassment. It is not a, it's not okay. But they employed a guy that actually said that that they, white people should die. Oh yeah, white man, yeah. white man are the devil. White men are the 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 evil of the earth. White, white, all this shit about white men, but they employed him up until the fact that they actually did not need him anymore. And now all of a sudden they're saying, "Well, we let him go." Well, yeah, of course he did. Now that the game went gold and got released, mm. it's too late, too little, too late. Now you ain't getting a dime of my money. If I, in fact, I would actually right, promote piracy on this game. <laughs> <laughs> if you can pirate right. the game, pirate it. <laughs> all right, so yo, we we gonna close it off there, man. Um, 
we're gonna go ahead and do the outros yo uh, i just want to say thank you to the cast for you know rolling through man i always appreciate everyone rolling through uh, it was another great show so alex you want to do your outro real quick sure uh thank you for inviting me and being on the cast um i appreciate it if you want to learn about working out more video game shit for the future like i like to do and ADD and ADHD, follow me at youtube.com slash oh no, it's Alex with two X's. Okay. Once again, um, Press Start Podcast it will be on J Main's channel until May 26th because I got a strike on my channel. So um, I will re upload this right after, you know, you know, we get off air. I'm going to re upload on my channel. Please go to my channel and thumbs up the video. I greatly appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, show J-Man some love to and um, subscribe to him. And yeah, J-Man, yo, do your outro. Um, yeah, man. Great, great, great podcast. I do appreciate everybody for coming through. Alex, uh, Rambo. Thank you, nice meeting you guys. Definitely. You are the crusty niggas. I know y'all. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, nah, it was dope. Um, like Kofi was saying, though, the podcast will be on his channel. Once he uploads, I'm going to take it off of mine because I do like to keep everything centralized for him. So keep it all in one place. Um, but yeah, it was great discussion. Hit that subscribe button. You know, y'all here, check me out. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little channel, you know, trying to do a little something, something. Check me out. Hit that like button. And again, everybody have a good night. And it was a great show. Jack, move, man. Um, I don't know what I want to say. Uh, <laughs> PS now is trash. So I'm just going to put that out there. Um, <laughs> follow me, man, on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Jack Moo Johnny, and uh, I appreciate everybody for watching. And uh, yeah, that's it. Jay Jay Barry, man, say no, out, man. Man, um, definitely appreciate the invite, even though it was last minute. I was like, no, really, really appreciate it. You, you <laughs> really through, bro. I'm joking, I'm joking, man. But it's, it's cool coming on here all the time. Um, good discussion. Not everybody agree. That's cool. I like that. You know, everybody can debate a little bit. Uh, but yeah, man. Um, subscribe, Jay Barry is uh, the YouTube channel. J underscore Barry YT is Twitter. And don't forget to tune in uh, later this month where we're going to be having a Street Fighter 5 tournament, World Warriors 2. Come through, win some games, some prizes. It's going to be a movie. Uh, so, yeah, let's come through. Have some fun. And J Mega Gaming, man. Jimmy, yo, say, say what up, man. Hey, yo, man, shout out to all the haters, man. Next level gaming. You can still eat a dick, my nigga. Uh, bro, bro, you, you, yo, you, bro. you got, you got you the man of like 30 you. dislikes, bro. <laughs> Jimmy be spoiling, yo. He was making them accounts. He was working, yo. I need to hire you. <laughs> yeah, I don't even see that. Um, I got a job for you, my dude. Seriously. Yo, yo, press start. This is press start history. We have never seen. We never got that like. That shit was wild. Yo, yeah, he's yeah, not, never got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been attacking me since Zaya made that video, but it's cool. <laughs> um, yo, uh, next level gaming. If you want a job, I can get you a job. Um, <laughs> no. Ser- no, I'm serious. Um, outside of that, yo, thank you for having me. It was nice meeting y'all. Um, you know, sorry for that uh, rude beginning. Whoever tried to hack my shit, you can eat a dick too. I know that was probably you, but it's all good, man. Uh, that verification kicked in and I got through it. Thank you. And oh, um, wow. <laughs> Rambo, so say, say your outro, bro. That's crazy. Well, I'm just gonna say, uh, <laughs> PS Now is multi plat. And if you want to follow me uh, at Rambo's Corner on YouTube and on Twitter, that's or that is with a zero on Rambo. Yeah, check him out, man. Me check and Rambo out. always debating, guys. <laughs> yeah, check him out, man. Cool, dude. Uh, and we got the gaming god. S- say outro, man. BG. Yeah, you already know. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to like you yeah, have some energy on press start, bro. You be you I be, mean, you, be you, yeah, you you be like you know like a whole nother person on weapon wheel, my homie. I gotta get some Cuban coffee, BG. Come down to where I live, man. <laughs> that tiny funny, man. Funny funny man, man. All right, yo. So I hope y'all enjoyed the podcast, and we out.